You're listening to the Gamecaster. 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 Hello and welcome back to the Game Casters Podcast, the show that pretends it's about board games, but really is just fuel for my ego. I'm your host, please love me so I can feel something, and with me is female host for social acceptance, and the one who makes it so it's not just another married person podcast. We've got a show lined up for you today that I'll tell you is great, but really we have no clue what we're doing and only begin to prepare mere hours before I hit the record button. Yes, most of our opinions and thoughts about things come about on the fly with no real care or attentiveness, which is what brings you juicy nuggets like Elephants Not Found in Ark Nova or Silo being written back in the 1800s. Yep. We're extremely. We know nothing. <laughs> I know nothing. I don't claim to know these. Things. I just say. Yeah, I just say things. things come out of our mouths, and yep, it's up to you to determine if they're not or not. Yep. We are extremely irresponsible with what we spew out of our mouths, but we have personality and confidence, so most of you are inclined to believe it. Yep. All you have to do is say things like this, and people will think you have a fucking clue. But guess what? We're just nobodies like you who happen to have radio voices. Watch this. So, Jeff. Yeah. I was playing the Castles of Burgundy the other day, and in round nine, when it came time for the harvest phase, all my cards fell off the table. And so now they're out of order, and I couldn't remember whose turn it was to regurgitate fish into the penguin babies. Oh, no. Yeah, exactly. See? What the fuck was that? (laughs) Cards, harvest phase, but as long as I say it with confidence, it sounds like maybe that's plausible. So sit back and listen to a bunch of people who don't really know any more than you do, but sure talk like they do, regale you about things that may or may not be true. This podcast applies the George Costanza mentality. If you just act annoyed, everyone at work thinks you're busy. For us, it's (laughs) if you act like you know what the hell you're talking about, then people think you actually do. So guys... Yep. I was panicking about what to discuss after this last part, and so I went to Reddit to bail me out and found a story that I thought was hilarious that I wanted to share. But before I even get into it, it's not raunchy. It's just funny. Well, (laughs) I have a raunchy Reddit story after you. Fuck yeah. Okay. All right, yeah, you definitely follow me because you're the raunchy should follow the non raunchy. Yeah, okay, sounds okay. good. Okay, here we go. About 11 months ago, I moved into a new house. On my second day, after I'd finished unpacking, I decided to break the house in with a nice acid trip. <laughs> okay. okay. Things were going well with the trip, but then it seemed to be getting really intense, and I quickly realized that the tabs were much stronger than I had been told that they were, and I thought being locked up in an unfamiliar house wasn't helping me relax. Is that how you take acid? Sorry, I, know, I, I don't know how to yeah, do it. Yeah, I think you have like a tab, you acid. like put it on your tongue or under your tongue, oh, and then it just like seeps into your... Is it like one your... of those Listerine strips? <laughs> That's what I imagine. That's acid. It's a Listerine okay. strip. I th- <laughs> Are those still a thing? Do people still Listerine use those? I do. No, it's, it's acid. People carry them in like an SD card thing. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah it's one. like the tiniest little thing. Yeah, you just like yeah. put it on your tongue. It's like a little, t- little piece of paper. I th- that's acid. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. Got some, it. some company was like, what if we had acid that just freshened your breath? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I figured the... Oh, sorry, so he says, um, I thought being locked up in an unfamiliar house wasn't helping me relax, so I took acid, right? So I figured the best thing to do to relax would be go for a stroll because I was starting to get pretty overwhelmed with this acid trip. So I left the house to start my walk, and my next-door neighbor happened to be just arriving at the same time. Now, I'd not met anybody on my street yet and didn't realize that this was a friendly, tight-knit community where people talk to each other. Yeah. <laughs> so she said something along the lines of, Hello, nice to meet you. My name is, her name, uh, are you new to the area? So basically... I do this thing sometimes when people try to tell me things on the street where I pretend I can't speak English. I remember a few <laughs> words of French... So I just say some nonsense sentences and then people usually leave me alone in the state I was in. This conversation seemed like it would be way too intense for me. And French just sort of came to me as my default response to the situation. (laughs) So my exact words were, je voudrais une boulangerie, one of my favorite lines to use. And I shrugged my shoulders a bit with a weak smile. She pretty much just left me to it after that. And I got on my way. (laughs) When I got home, my next door neighbor was in her doorway talking to another neighbor who was outside. I tried to keep my head down because I couldn't handle any more human interaction, but she just waved at me and said, bonjour. So I instinctively returned to the bonjour and got inside my house as fast as possible. When I got in, I started freaking out straight away because I realized that I'd just become French. And now two of the neighbors think that I can't speak any English. (laughs) The next day when I woke up, I realized the best thing I could do as an Englishman was just live with the lie for the rest of my short stay in this house to avoid the excruciating embarrassment of right. having <laughs> pretended to be French for seemingly no reason. There you go. <laughs> Fast forward 10 months. Wow. <laughs> I still okay. live here. And at this point, I am in deep. 
My life on this street is a web of lies. I perfected my French accent, and over the course of 10 months, French me has learned a decent amount of English oh so he can God. hold disjointed conversation. I'd gotten to know the neighbors pretty well, and I was the nice, quirky French guy on the street. <laughs> I didn't let the lie slip ever because every day and every conversation I had just meant that it would be even worse if anyone ever discovered I wasn't actually French. If I had friends come over, I don't really have many friends, so that wasn't too bad. But they would never speak to the neighbors because of my strange situation. Most of them found it amusing, at least. Things were going okay, and I wasn't too worried about being exposed anymore because I'd gotten so used to it. I'm not home that much, and when I am, I rarely leave the house for any reason, so I only had to do it for maybe five minutes a day when I was out on my street. If anything, was a, it was a nice way to spice up my day when I got to uh, take on my French persona. <laughs> French me somehow had much better social skills than real me. French me. <laughs> Even if his English was a bit limited. But then, there was the day it all came crashing down. Uh-oh. <laughs> I was walking to my car and saw one of the neighbors coming towards me from the opposite direction with someone else next to her I didn't recognize. She stopped to say hi, as she normally does, and then she said to her friend, this is Gustav, the guy I was telling you about. You might be able to see where this is going. Her friend hit me with a question in French that I did not understand a word of, and I knew he was actually French straight away because his accent was way better than mine. I didn't know what to do, and so I just froze. Every second that went by and went past just made it so much more painful, and after way too long of a pause, I decided, fuck it. I had to come clean. I told her I wasn't actually French and couldn't speak French. And then I tried to play it off like some kind of practical joke I'd been doing on everyone. Nobody was buying that. I fast walked straight to my car and then let the embarrassment just swallow me for a while. (laughs) I haven't spoken to any of my neighbors since, some of which I'd struck up a friendly relationship with over those 10 months. Wow. I make sure nobody is around now whenever I leave the house and I do a loop around the block in my car if any of my neighbors are walking down the street when I get home so that I never come into any contact with them. Every time I think about this day that I was discovered, the embarrassment physically (laughs) hurt. Hurts me. So TLDR pretended to be French to avoid human interaction on LSD, lived a lie for 10 months and got exposed by a French man. So what? So he has to move 10 yeah. months. I mean, he has he, no other so choice. He didn't think he was going to stay there for very long. No, you know, the, the original. So I cut out a bunch of fluff from the story. Okay. One of the things I cut out at the beginning was he just moved into his house, but He's only living at this place while he's trying to find a more permanent situation. Yeah, that worked okay. out. Right. <laughs> yeah, he's got to go. So, <laughs> the bonjour de le monde. so he was like, je voudrais une boulangerie. You guys want to know what that means? Yeah. It means I would like a bakery. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine well, that's all he says. The French guy comes up and he's like, oh, je m'attends, je m'attends. Yeah, and he's, he's like, like, I want a bakery. I would like a bakery. <laughs> I want a bakery. <laughs> now, some of the comments what were like, you should have said that. What if he lucked out and he, the guy was like, what do oh. you want to do back in France when you move back? I, I would want like a bakery. A bakery. Yeah. What if he just lucked out? That'd be great. Right. <laughs> then he wouldn't have risked it. He should <laughs> Oh man! Or he should have done the George Costanza. He should have acted like he was really fucking like annoyed and bitten, like, ah, yeah, like, like and just said something, like, something down. Like I gotta go. Like have yeah. you seen the episode of Modern Family where um, um, Mitchell pretends to be French? He doesn't yes. know any French, and he's only all he does is act irritated. Yeah. And everyone, but yeah, but he doesn't actually say anything. Yeah, he's everybody like grunts knows, and stuff. everybody like buys it and knows that. So he, this is, oh, oh boy, uh, this is that's crazy. so embarrassing. So obviously he's somewhere <sighs> in. Is he in England? I think he's in England. Yeah, he's in England. Well, here's the thing that was odd to me. I mean, maybe we're just like antisocial, but like he talks to his neighbors every single day or when his friends came over, he said, "Um, my friends don't speak to my neighbors. Like, why would our friends ever speak to our neighbors? Right? Yeah, your neighbors are like, maybe they're slightly closer, but like than, than your neighbors, like my neighbors are close. I don't. Yeah, but like talk if I was at your house, day? I wouldn't see your, your neighbor outside and go talk to them. So another thing no. he said was they don't. <laughs> the house he's in is almost like like every one of the houses is all super squished together. Yeah. Okay. So his neighbors, but like they're like outside right all outside the time. His door. Eh, it's a little or different over there across hi. the pond. He can't be like, hey, hey, what's up? He can't do that. Yeah, because yeah. they'd be like, what? Well, if, why would he say, hey, what's up? Bonjour, Papa de I want the bakery. Je my pal Gustav. Je, je are my pal. I don't know any French. Oh, oh, two, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept. Oui. All right, Jeff. What's your story? Okay, so I was scrolling through the Reddit and saw this this post that was like Ask Reddit, which is. Like the, one of the biggest ones, right? People just post random things on there and mm-hmm. people ask questions. Sure. So the question on there was, men of Reddit, what's a better phrase 
to use instead of I'm coming. <laughs> Do you have any? <laughs> I've achieved. I've achieved. Oh. So here's just some of the ones. As I'm, I'm going to scroll through and just what read some just, of them. Here it is. That's the first one. <laughs> here it is. The first one is it, this, this guy said he mumbled to his wife, here it is. And that was it. He said his wife and him still laugh about it today. Here it is. Here it is. Ah, here, there was one is. that says uh, when here his. It <laughs> here it is. Can't believe oh, yeah. Here it is. Oh, here it is. <laughs> here it is. Not even like here it comes. Like here it is. Here it is. Here, it's already. You yep. don't want to say come saying like here it comes is too on the nose. Yeah, it's yeah, like you gotta be like here it is. You gotta change it up a bit. Um, when this one, uh, this person said when they his now wife were first dating, and hadn't said I love you yet. He's like I mixed up basically fuck I'm coming and I love you and just shouted fuck. just just shouted fuck you at her because <laughs> oh. he couldn't figure it out. He was just and in the coming. moment. Fuck you! <laughs> oh, um, that's good. Someone just wrote the T the T H X sound, like the the Thanks. surround sound, like. Oh. <laughs> As you're there was um there so someone like, almost 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 there we are. Oh my god! <laughs> I still like here it is. Here here it is. Here's another one. I think my I have arrived. Yeah, yeah, I have arrived. <laughs> <laughs> oh, both of mine have been said. That's yep. cool. You said I have achieved. Oh, achieved. Achieved. Dang it. I'm Unexpected arrive. item in bagging area. <laughs> oh, <laughs> unexpected item in bagging area. Oh, the juice is loose. The ju- <laughs> oh, my God. That's OJ Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What about I'm about to blow? <laughs> oh, man. As you're coming? Oh, man. You really fooled her. <laughs> I've already um, blown. Or, or this one just said, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oops. <laughs> Oops, I did it again. <laughs> Someone said, uh, ready or not, here I come. You ready can't hide. Or not. Here I come. <laughs> Fire in the hole. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm gonna blast. Fire in the hole. Oh, blast um, off. Yahtzee. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta try one of these. Which one do you want me to use next time? Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. <laughs> Report back. Here it Let is. us know how it goes. Okay. Alas, the fruit of my loins are approaching. <laughs> I don't think it's I so can physically words. speak that many words yeah. right. in the moment. Yeah. I feel like you'd ruin it. <laughs> it would definitely ruin it. Up. Oopsie doo, here comes the goo. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> or I'll end it with this one. And boom goes the dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> so you, there's a whole bunch you can just like, I just like click to the next comment yeah. over and over again. And it's just not. That's really funny. Uh, here it is. Here it is. Oh my God. Here it, here it, here it is. is. This, is, this is for you. <laughs> I cannot believe you got it. <laughs> I gave you that. <laughs> That's what Spanish, if, I, I know what I'll say. I'll, next time it's happening, I'm going to be like, oh, je voudrais un balagerie. Yeah. <laughs> I, need, I, want I would like a bakery. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Natalie, what's going on with you? You got a Reddit story like the two of us? <laughs> uh, maybe later. Oh, shit. Ooh. <laughs> it's later. What is it? No, I'm no. Um, I got, okay. I'm reporting back on Silo. Still very good. We've, oh, yeah, we we're caught up it. finally. Yeah. And? I loved the first few episodes. I'm not as, the last two have kind of, not. they're not losing me. I oh my god the first three I was like this yeah. is the best thing I've ever seen I know, and then like, they kind of I don't want to say stuff. they've gotten away from what I loved about it but I'm I'm just I can't wait to see what the la- the last few episodes yeah. have hopefully they, they get some, back to they what do I a like. couple side quests almost yes right. exactly like, quests, I'm not loving like, the side quests the yeah thing. I don't care as much about the side quests <laughs> yeah but like, I also feel like I want to know yeah right exactly but we probably have to know this like it it probably will reveal through the story like other stuff too. God, I want to say so many spoilers. I, I know, can't. I know. I, know. I well, want to very badly. Off, off. Are you caught up? The brand newest one that was either Thursday or Friday. I've not. Friday. Okay, we, yeah, we just watched that one too. Yeah. So I've not seen that one. That's usually that's going to be our Sunday. Got our it. Sunday show, and we and I did. So you watched Silo. I started the Great. Yes. yes. Which the first few episodes have been fun to watch. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's I can't the, say it's great yet because I'm only a few episodes. Well, in. plus right. I, I do. I like would. It. I would say that's the, probably the best review of the show it's just it's just fun yeah, yeah. Fun it's just kind of like it's fun. not like you know there's been Catherine the great do- like very serious documentaries and and mm-hmm. reenactments that have been done about her but it's the in its historical really deep russian slash english depending on who makes yeah. it yeah. right sure and it's like you got to pay a lot of attention this you can just kind of watch and right. just enjoy the weirdness and they just like right, like everyone's say, British. Ma- right, isn't yeah, that so funny? British. It's like in Russia, but everyone so sucks with a British accent. Literally, everyone has a British accent. <laughs> yeah. Even Catherine was she's like from Germany. Germany. Yeah. Yeah. She's German. She's, she's German. Yeah. <laughs> so that's been that's been cool. That we're um, awesome. I'm yeah, glad I can't wait to hear how that, that goes later. Um, and then I don't know. We we rarely talk about this, but sports recently. 
Yeah, we haven't been talking sports, have we? Um, that's because Detroit sucks at they everything. Do. Um, <laughs> they used to be the best. But man, in the early two thousands. Oh, our, man, that was our <laughs> game. Hell yeah! Um, but if you're out there watching like basketball or hockey playoffs, they've been great. Have they? I have not watched a thing. I Talk know. about well, it because for a because the Pistons and the the Wings they all kind of suck, right? Yeah. They're just not they're not relevant. Right. So it's easy to just not do it. Mm-hmm. But I have to give a shout out to some listeners here, okay? Because the state of Florida. Oh, so I'll keep my old opinions and and, and Lewis and Chris Wait, from the Lewis Facebook from page. Um, I don't know where Lewis is. At. I think he's from Florida. Yeah, um, and then sure Chris, Florida. Chris from the Facebook page. Um, Miami, the Heat are in the finals, and the Florida Panthers are in the finals. Damn, um, of hockey and basketball. Nice. Wow. Um, I don't know if either of them are going to win, but they're there, and it's got to be cool. Now, to this be is a, a stupid, Florida. dweeby question: Is LeBron still on the Heat? No, I LeBron's know, on I the know. Lakers. He's on the Lakers. Oh. And they just lost like, the Denver's in the finals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I haven't followed I basketball nothing. probably since the well, Pistons exactly, used to Pistons, be good. Yeah, because like 04, they, the Pistons won in 04, and then 05 and 06, they were still relevant and good. Yeah, and then I they remember just fell people off. on the Pistons from probably those years. You do? Who is Miami playing in the finals? Miami's playing Denver. Oh, really? So it's kind of a cool, and Miami's is Steve an Nash still on Denver? <laughs> no. <laughs> Steve Nash on <laughs> Phoenix. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> um but the uh, the Miami Heat are an eight oh, seed, which is out. cool. So it's like well, oh I don't know, God. it might be one of the few times an eight seed ever been to the finals. I'm fine. It's just a cool. It's a cool time, other than being because Detroit sucks. Cool they time suck. to be in Florida. I know, but this is this is what it feels like. Other other like right now, if you are a Miami and a Florida Panthers fan, you are feeling what Detroit felt from like 2000 to 2000 and almost 10 for sure. Like there was a the decade. greatest. Of everything. We're, well, except the Lions. It was April. The Lions still suck. We ignore the Lions. The Lions still suck. But like, we, world, we went to the World Series yep. a couple times, won some Stanley Cups, yep. won an NBA championship, yep. went again. It was just like... Well, the Pistons got to the Eastern amazing. Conference Finals like six years in a row yeah, it was or something incredible. crazy. Mm. The Wings were, what, in the playoffs 25, 25, years, 25 years, in years in a row or something <laughs> so, crazy? Yeah. And I now, I know what other cities have gone through with this just drastic 20-year slump of garbage, 15 years like slump team. for all of our teams. Um <laughs> so I wanted to get, I definitely wanted Remember to give Steve Nash. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I thought uh, Denver. Steve that's Nash. so funny. Um so I wanted to give Nestor and and Chris from the Facebook page. They were talking Hell on, yeah. Nestor talks on the Discord a lot, but Chris talks on the Facebook page a lot. Um about that. We need so to get them to together. Them a shout out. They're they're Florida friends no, together. They need to be yeah. they need to be buds. Yeah. Um, Maybe they hate yeah. each other. Maybe yeah. that's why. You go on fucking Facebook, I'll stay on Discord. Yeah, yeah. Get yeah. the fuck away from me. Yeah, what the fuck Florida is wrong with you, you asshole? Yeah, I'm the Florida guy. Yeah. <laughs> and a week you. ago, a week ago, we had um, kind of a, a a day hangout over at um, Donkey Kong's. I remember that. And played a yes. bunch of games over there. He just was like, come over at 9 or 10 o'clock in the morning, stay until however long you want, and just play games. It was fun. It was. Did. It was a great time. It was a one-day nerd fest kind of thing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like the uh, whole just a game day. It wasn't necessarily a festival. It was just nerd. Yeah, just nerd day. Nerd day. Nerd day. <laughs> nerd day. Here. Oh no, yeah, it was. It was here single it nerd. We have single nerd fest. <laughs> we have nerd fest, <laughs> mini nerd fest, and nerd day. Yeah, nerd fest, mini nerd yeah. fest, nerd. No, I like single single day nerd fest, single like single day. card game. Single, yeah, like day single nerd, 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 nerd fest. game. Mini. We nerd played fest. a bunch of games. We're actually going to talk about a few of them. Mm-hmm. But I did want to say that we played Istanbul and I won. Nice. Mm-hmm. I won. You won the money. Did Dave come in last? Like I he always won. says he did. No, Dave. Okay, so one year ago at, at mini nerd fest, mm-hmm. Dave actually won. And he was like, I should probably retire. I can't do this anymore. Yeah. Um, he was, I think, second in terms of gems. He was probably two turns away from getting his last six gems. Look at him go. Oh, wow. um, you need six in the expansion. But he was like right there. And Bill and Christy were. It was the games between the four of us are always like so close. Well, you guys have all tight. played it together a lot. Yeah. It was. It's like the professional group Doink. of us. Mm-hmm. We're all on the same level. We we're probably not like we're not the best, right? But we're all on the same level, and that makes that game together. Great. Yeah, yeah. And that's where I always talk to Joe, um, and Joe will like Joe needs to play that game with other people that are not the four <laughs> of us because he's going to play with us, and we just beat the crap Curb out of him. Stops he's like, every what? time. He's like, I don't want to play this with you guys. I'm like, yeah. I don't blame you. You shouldn't play this game with us because it's just whooping. It's like tennis. Yeah, it's whooping. you need the yeah. same level skill. Right, or it's like chess or go yeah. or God, I'm dorky. Right, it's like yeah. if you have Steve Nash on your team. If you have Steve Nash or El Diablo, then you'll be going to be great. <laughs> you just got to be great about this. <laughs> right, I'm telling, we've probably told it before, but I'm telling it again. All right, so there's this football. Um, <laughs> a football um. Julio Jones. A wide receiver yeah. for Atlanta. Is he, is he, is he retired now? He's retired, no, right? He's around. He still plays? Okay. Julio, Julio Jones. <laughs> and for some reason... He's amazing, by the way. He's yeah. a fantastic oh, yeah. uh, player. But for some reason, I was with Jeff watching football one day, 
And <laughs> I was like, oh man, he's just like Julio Jones just scored a touchdown. I was like, oh man, that El Diablo. They, they call him El Diablo. <laughs> and Jeff was like, do they? Oh. And I was like, cool. Yeah. 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 Don't they? <laughs> and I Googled for like an hour trying to figure it out. And of course, <laughs> who the no, hell told them El Diablo? No, but El Diablo means the devil. The devil. <laughs> This man, this, man no, the, this man on the field was the devil running around. The devil! I don't oh, know where the... Oh, oh, El Diablo. Uh, Matt Ryan throws Throw it to ball, El, El Diablo. Diablo. <laughs> Matt Ryan throws it to the, the devil. devil. The devil scores a touchdown. <laughs> I don't know where the fuck I came up with that, but for some reason it was in my head like, oh yeah, did you know that they call him yeah, El, El Diablo? Him. And Jeff knows way more about... Jeff's more, way more into sports than me, and he just looked at me like... Oh, I believed you when you yeah. said that. <laughs> Sweet. Ooh, I didn't know that. But the way you reacted, I was like, he would have known <laughs> like, that. Like, oh, no. He, <laughs> yeah. Like, I oh, was shit. expecting like, to impress him that I right. knew it, but he didn't respond like he knew oh, that's no. what it was called. <laughs> I was like, let me just look this up. And I, 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 I've not found any <laughs> evidence of that. No Diablos. So <laughs> we're going to do things a bit differently in today's game segment. Oh. The Spiel des Jahres nominees were recently announced as we went through last episode. Mm -hmm. And as we've pretty much played all of them now from both the Spiel and the Kenner Spiel categories, some of the honorable mentions even, and even one from the Kinder Spiel, which we're not going to talk about, I wanted to go <laughs> through these and give our takes on them and ultimately who we think is going to win and who we want to win. Who being the game. Yes. <laughs> Before we get there, Jeff has prepared a little bit of uh, talk about prior winners yeah of things i'd like to hear that jeff so let's what talk you got? about it so this is i texted our our gamecasters chat group and are we calling this the the spiel special the spiel special oh, yeah. the spiel, spiel special the special the shiarish okay <laughs> take a guess ryan you might know this natalie i am confident you don't <laughs> um what year do you think this award started i don't know that so the they so there's the three awards right there's yeah. the spiel which is like game of the year that one's been around the longest. Okay. The Kenner Spiel is the, in English, the the connoisseurs game of the year, which is okay. like the gamers game. That's why you called it connoisseurs earlier. Oh, yeah, okay. The gamers game. And then there's the Kinder Spiel, like kindergarten baby game. Yeah. Okay. I, first I, game. What I do know is the Kinder Spiel and the Kenner Spiel are very recent additions. Yes. They're very, so they're are you newer. asking when the original one Yes. When, started? yeah, take a, take a shot at both. 96. I'll say... 2002. Okay, I found Game of the Year back to 1979. What? Spiel des Jahres? Yeah, just, like double check this thing, but like maybe they called it something wow. different or they had a different committee. I but mean, in 1979, mind. the game Hare and Tortoise. <laughs> oh yeah, I know Hare and Tortoise. Hare and Tortoise won Game of the Year. Okay, and then the um, the Kenner Spiel didn't start until 2011. 1978, it says the Spiel des Jahres. Okay. Okay. Spiel, Spiel des Jahres. <laughs> Spiel, Spiel, Spiel des Jahres. Game of the Year is an award for Bob Bach, created in 1978 with the purpose of re rewarding family friendly game design and promoting excellent games in Deutsch market. I okay. did not. Oh, wow. So, Game of the Year being family friendly game. For the most part, as you look at this list, it's a family friendly game. The uh, Kenner Spiel, which the, a little bit of the gamer's game, which I Ooh. probably would call more like, like medium. Like a medium light game, almost yeah. sometimes for the family who the Spiel des Jahres is aimed for. I would say they would feel heavy for sure. a gamer. They would be who these awards are probably light, not mid. necessarily light. for. Yeah, it would be yeah mid to light to mid. So yeah. in I don't know how boring this is going to be, but I want to run. I just want to run through the winners. I want to hear it. back to the day seven nine hair and tortoise. I don't know shit about that game. Oh yeah, I've heard about I've heard of that game. But I, I might do, have even played I, it. The tortoise wins because the hair takes a nap. <laughs> yeah, I've read the, yeah, exactly. You know the book. I, I read the book. Yeah, yeah I'm, a book, I'm a book Spoiler. reader. Um, <laughs> um, in 1980, Rummy Cube. Cool, good game. 81, the game Focus. I don't know that game. Never fucking heard of it. 82, Enchanted Forest. Yeah. Okay. Well, oh, that was 82. We actually have Rummy Cube. Yeah, we do. Yeah, that's like actually. that's like almost one of the old ones that are kind of in people's just. Like yeah, like everyone has it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right? Like everyone somehow has that game. Yeah. Yep. Um, in 83, we know this. We know 83. Scotland Yard won 83. Damn. Um, Don't know it. You, yeah, it's it's it's, it's like... Um, like a letter from Whitechapel. Uh, yeah, or uh, oh. my management. Mouse. Yeah. It's like gotcha. the first. Railway Rivals in 84. Oh, the old Railway Rivals. 85, Sherlock Holmes Consulting Detective. I know! Super cool. 86, <laughs> Top Secret Spies. Oh, yeah. That great old chestnut. Don't know that That's one. That's my favorite game. 87, Off... Oh, this is German. Here, you want to read this one? Yeah. 87. Auf Oxy. Auf wow. Oxy. What does that mean? What does Auf mean? Auf means off. Off. 
Right? Does off mean? Oxy? Does it mean? I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna go English. I'm gonna go German to English. German <laughs> to English. A C H S. They kicked S-E their addiction the to oxy. Auf. Oh, on. Auf is on. Oh, not off. A C H S. They A-C-H-S-E. are addicted to oxy. On axis. Okay. Mm, that sounds familiar, actually. Axis on allies. Oh, okay. Continue. Oh, on axis <laughs> allies. Um, Barbarossa won in '88. Okay. Cafe International '89. In ninety, here's Cafe another Domestic. here's another German word you can read. Okay, so many German um, yeah. ones. Edel verplick, Edel verplicked it, <laughs> nailed it. Edel verplicked it. Let's see what that. Edel verplicked it, not anal. <laughs> Edel verplicked it. Nobility obliges. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> These games are really held of up course. the test of time. <laughs> yeah. uh-huh. Um, ninety one, Drunter and Druber. <laughs> <laughs> we are Drunter and Druber. We are here to <laughs> you, <up>. you up. <laughs> <laughs> um, in 92, um, um Raffenbreiter. Um, 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 um Raffenbreiter. Um Raffenbreiter. Um you you oh, know that's, that one. That's Light Bright. <laughs> light right. The Light Bright. Do I know that one? Around um. Ripe. Around what? <laughs> right. How do you spell R E I F I. R E I F E N. Oh, E N. Rife in. And B R E I. E I T E. T. By tire width. <laughs> what? No. I think oh it's a bicycle God. game. Where, I think oh, it's a bicycle game. Where is Tomas? Game. By tire width. <laughs> by, <laughs> roughly translated. I would like to a bakery. Roughly <laughs> translated to <laughs> the game about bikes. By tire by width. Tire. <laughs> Maybe that's like that. How is much did you win by? A tire, tire width. width. Maybe yeah. that's it. Maybe it's a racing game. How thick is your dick? Uh, <laughs> it's oh a tire width. <laughs> <laughs> One tire width. <laughs> How do you measure the thickness of your wi- of your dick by tire by, width? By tire width. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> so from seventy nine to ninety three. You like You've heard of games. four? <laughs> I've, I've actually I've heard, heard of Um Rife and Bright. I but, actually have. Um, yeah, it's light bright. I had by it. tire width. Uh, but like I've played Sherlock's like Scotland Yard. I've basically played. Yep, that's it. Okay, ninety four Manhattan. Okay, you've heard of that one. Yep, ninety five is when we start getting into games. I think. More yeah, we know. People have okay, known. Yeah. Uh, Settlers of Catan win in 95. I know. Five mm-hmm. in 96. El Grande wins in 96. Oh, the the big. The big. <laughs> the big. <laughs> big. Don't have to put that one El in Google. Grande. Or in that English, one. The Grande. <laughs> <laughs> 97, Mississippi Queen. Mississippi Queen. That's a song. <laughs> 98, Elfinland. Elfinland. Yeah, that's... um um. Keep going. <laughs> it's, uh, uh, 99 to call. No, Luf, 99. no, Luf Balloons. Luf Balloons. 99. La Luf. La Luf. El Luf Balloons. The wait, Luf wait. Balloons in Spanish. It's, 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 it's the Spanish version of it. Who actually won in 99? Uh, to call. Oh, to call. To call yeah. a mocking bird. Yeah, to call a mocking bird. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan's drunk on his new oh, chair. Man. I was laughing so hard a minute ago when something just said. I almost, I legitimately <laughs> almost passed out. Yeah. I had to like, Ugh. sometimes I laugh so hard I almost pass out. That happens a lot to me. What the hell? I was just like, what if I was just like, <laughs> just fell off. Yeah, Ryan just fell <laughs> off. Oh, if I laugh like to, phone. there's a few people that can do that to me. Jeff can do that to me. Chris Bondi can do that to me. And Niv can do that. I will just pass out. And Bill, of course. I will just pass the fuck out. Uh, um, 2000, Torres wins in 2000. That's a yeah. cool game. Yeah, that's a great game. 2001, have you heard of any of these ones so far? The last few. Torres, uh, have you You've heard of, of Settlers of Catan. And El Grande, yeah. maybe. El Grande, okay. I have. 2001 is Carcassonne. Space Odyssey. Oh, yeah, oh, I knew that. Yeah. Yep. Um, 2001. Two. Two. 2001 is Carcassonne. <laughs> Not 2001. <laughs> what if you just kept saying that over there? 2001 is Carcassonne. Villa Paletti. Oh, Villa Paletti. We um, actually owned that game for a while. Still in 2001, Alhambra. No, 2003. <laughs> okay. 2003 is Alhambra. Okay. 2004, Ticket to Ride. I've heard of that one. 2005, Niagara. False. Don't know. Niagara Falls. (laughs) 2006, um, Turn. And Taxi. Turn and Taxi. Turn and Taxi. Okay. Nope. 2007, Zularetto. Oh. Yep. Yep. You haven't played it. I don't know. But it's like Colorado. (laughs) 2008, (laughs) Celtis. Oh, Celtis? Really? I don't know. That's Reiner Canizia, right? God. Probably. I, we're doing the thing where we just say fucking say anything. Yeah, we could just say and it. Then everybody well, everybody like, like, no, you you really about this. Fuck. The <laughs> Shelly told us. Ke- Ryder Canizia. Oh, you know. Yeah. It. Okay. You got to like a fact check I don't know during the podcast. That. I have to now because uh, <laughs> elephants are everywhere out. and yeah. shows are definitely, the books are written way later than we think. 2009, Dominion. Yep. Okay. 2010, Dixit. <laughs> really? <laughs> that sounds so naughty now. Yeah. 2011, Quirkle. Yeah, Quirkle. Mm-hmm. 2012, Kingdom Builder. Right, that's mm-hmm. also by uh, Donald X. Vaccarino. Okay. Oh, he won for Kingdom Builder and Dominion. Good, Good for him. him. Good for him. His like, first two designs. 2013 is Hanabi. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hanabi. The firework one? Yep. Yeah. 2014, Camel Up. 
Yeah, yep. I remember 15 that. 15 Colt Express. Actually, and it also in 2014, I think the Kenner Spiel was right. Istanbul. It was. Yeah, Ooh. I have it right here. Oh, yeah. shit. I forgot you're going through those. That's right. Fuck that's right. Me. 2014. You Fuck me. It. <laughs> here it comes. Fuck me. <laughs> here it is. Um, Colt Express in 2015. Code Names in 2016. Yeah. Mm. King Domino in 2017. Right. Azul in 18. Just one in 19. Oh. Pictures in 20. Oh, great game. Micro Macro in 21. Wow. Cascadia in 22. Ooh, yeah. Those last few were good. Yeah. Yeah. All, All the right, rest so sucked. The, the Connoisseurs yep. game, the <laughs> okay. Kenner Spiel, Kenner which Spiel. only started in 2011. Oh, so you don't I wanted want, to guess. You don't have to sit through okay. this. He already um, told us. Oh, he did? I know. <laughs> we don't have to sit through this uh, list of ridiculousness in 2011. Here, I, here it is. Do you have any <laughs> idea who won in 2011? Yeah, probably not. Probably not. Um, probably let's not. see. 2011. Ca- I'll give you the designer and you'll be able to guess it. How about that? Oh, let me see. Hold on. Hold on, just hold us. Just hold your fucking horses. Hold it. Oh. Hold it. Is the designer Uwe Rosenberg? No. Is it Stefan Feld? No. <laughs> he can. He said he'll give us the. I designer. know. I wanted to guess the designer first. Oh, I know who it is. Is it Vlada Shavadal? No. <laughs> oh my god. Uh... <laughs> oh, is it? Um, no. no I know. <laughs> Who's the designer? Antoine Bowser. I was gonna say Antoine Bowser, you guys. It's uh, Seven Wonders. Seven Wonders. Oh, okay. Yes. In 2012, a game by Inca and Marcus Brand. Inca and Marcus Brand. Okay. Um, in 2012. Yeah, 2012. Uh, I can only think of Exit, and they did not design Exit back. <laughs> Inca and Marcus Brand. Oh, oh, oh. They made their, their ooh, claim ooh, to fame. Ah, e, yep. I know it's this. this one. You know it. Yeah. Uh, uh, vi- 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 village. 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 Got it. Village. Got it. Got it. M. Night Shyamalan. Yeah. <laughs> um, 2013. Okay. Michael Menzel. Michael Menzel. Okay. Oh, really? Did that win? Um, 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 we had it. We had it. It's a, <laughs> you it's, did a, have it's, it. a it's a, it's a, it's a, okay. It's like a dude's on a map. This is our game. But it's like a story. But it's like a story. It's like a, it's a story. It's like, dude's, tell on a story. It's a dude's on a map. What the fuck's it called? Banch is a man. No, Natalie. God damn it. Natalie, don't you know it? What's it called, Jeff? No, no, no. Legends of Andor. Legends of Andor. Yes. <laughs> oh, I played that. 2014? What is it? Ryan? Istanbul. Istanbul. Constantinople. 2015, one of Ryan's favorite games. I know. It's not really. Oh. He <laughs> hates this it. game. Oh, he does. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's Which because. Which is broom. Which is Which is broom. That's <laughs> actually that's true. Broom. Well done. True. Broom service. Broom service. Broom Which service. is broom service. Yep. 2016, making it a back to back Kenner Spiel designer winner. Because Fix Fister designed this one as well. Along yeah, um, with um Isle of Sky. I'm, yeah, Isle of Sky in 2016. Mm-hmm. The game's good. 2017, back to the brand Exit. couple. The exits. Oh, Wolfgang wow. Varsh in 2018. Wolfgang Varsh in 2018 won with um, one of Natalie's favorites. Quacks. Quack, quack, quack. Yeah. Elizabeth Hargrave in 2019. Wingspan. How did you know that, Natalie? Natalie nailed it. Okay, Natalie. <laughs> I know what she n- means. N- d- don't give her this one. 2020, designed by Thomas Singh. Oh. This was on your... This, this was a, a non-household name on your list <laughs> last know. episode. It was the key, which is not the one on my list. So it's the other one. <laughs> I'm crinkling up. Wait, 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 wait. This is like stress. This is the. Oh, God. This She's is me cringing inside. Where is it in my notebook? Oh. Thomas Singh, the crew. The crew. Wow, the crew. How did she know that? She nailed pulled it. pulled that out of nowhere. 2021 is Paleo. You're not going to get that by the designer. No. And then nope. 2022 is a game that you had owned, and I don't know if you've given it up at all. Um, Living Forest. Giving oh, it up. Yeah, Giving it up. Did. Cameron yeah. loves it. Fuck. So that is a whole Shit. bunch of games listed in order of they. Now that we something. know the Spiel des Jahres and the Kenner Spiel des Jahres of the since nineteen of, since the seventies. Yes. Now you know when Silo was written. <laughs> now you know. Yep. We are now going to go through the current Spiel des Jahres honorable mentions very very quickly, and then yeah. we're going to get into the actual nominees. We're going to talk a little bit about ones we haven't talked about, and then we're going to mm-hmm. give what we think. Is the winner and what we want in to our be first ever winner. Spiel special. Spiel special. Spiel special. Let's move on to the Spiel special. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jeff, have you played Acropolis, which is our first honorable mention? I have played Acropolis. What did you think of it? I am not surprised that Acropolis is nominated. Well, it's an honorable mention. It well, still, it, yeah. at least the name is out there. You're, I still think so. For if you get nominated for this thing, you're making you're making sales now. Oh yeah, right. For sure. People know all around the like. Even if you don't win. Even if you don't win, even if, I feel like even if you're on the honorable mention list yeah, or the recommended still get list or whatever they're called, mm-hmm. you get a little bit of a oh, like a cash award. I don't know. No, probably not. No, I don't think. But so. you get maybe. a um, maybe like a high five or a, or a beach. A beach. Wow. Someone yep. give you a beach. Yeah. A handy. 
you know, something, something to help your floner. Yeah, <laughs> someone will let you clean up the hair from the barbershop floor. Yeah, wow, that's I'm gonna come up later. It is. Yeah, oh, holy in shit! In the inbox. Oh my god! Um, All right, <laughs> gross. All right, so and you liked Acropolis though? I did like Acropolis, and if you don't know Acropolis, it's a tile laying game. Uh, the there's like three hexes that are connected to each other in like a U. The U. Make any sense? Um, yeah. And it's it's very similar to a lot of other games. Tile placing, they all score differently. Right? Yellows score <laughs> like this, and reds score like this. Sure. Mm-hmm. You know, and they have some theme about building a city or whatever shenanigans. Uh, but there's a pretty cool, um, a little different to this. Again, all of the if you're making a game that is tile laying, you need a thing. Um, we talked right. about Namalia last a couple episodes ago or last, last episode. episode. And last that's episode. That's where they're laying on top, right? That's the thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Acropolis, you can build on top of each other. Um, when you build on top, it actually like counts as like two layers of something. So it counts as more points. And then there's also a little bit of auctions, not the right word, but you're buying, um, you have to buy the tiles that you want using these resources. So when you place a tile out, if you place it in a certain spot, you get these resources to buy different tiles later. And if you don't have them, you're basically just taking the, the first one in line. So it's kind of cool. Um, that's awesome. It, it did enough different where I was happy with the game. I'm happy that and so it's you in see our it on group. the honorable mention. You're like, oh, cool. This yeah. deserves to yeah, be. Yeah, and I I always feel like, and maybe maybe I'm wrong. I don't know how you guys feel. I feel like when I play a game that shows up on that list, I feel a little cooler about it. Like I yeah. feel better yeah. about. It. I I you're don't like, know if I like I played this popular game. Yeah, I don't know if I, like, I liked it too. It. Yeah. yeah, so ha, it is um, good. Right. I feel I feel kind of silly when like there's all three nominations, and you're like, I haven't played any of those, like, and I haven't even what? heard of most of them. Like, what you're like, where, where have well, I been? <laughs> uh, I think another one that's going to make Jeff feel this way especially is a game that we played a few episodes back called Kazooka. Mm-hmm. Kazooka is also on the honorable mentions. Do you guys remember Kazooka? No. Natalie. Natalie. It was cooperative, remember? And there's a, there's a bunch of numbers. This mm-hmm. is that game, right? Yep. Okay. There's a bunch of numbers, and remember, we're all like putting our token on a number. I put one on one, and you can put yours like ahead of mine, and then Jeff can put his ahead of that, and then once we stop, because you we have, have to have those colors. amount of colors. Like, I'm oh, I need seven oh, oranges. God. I need six yeah, reds. And, right. you're, and you need them We're all basically collectively trying to, to move get out. all the way uh, at the yeah, end of the track. Escaping the zoo. We're trying to get to the end of the track is by escaping the zoo. Oh, and we really like it. Zoo. It's like a... <laughs> That's all I to say. Oh, the zoo. The zoo. <laughs> I'm just like, like, we're trying okay, to escape the zoo. Oh, the get, zoo. No, no, don't get confused with Zuvatis. Those are two oh. separate games. Zuvatis is also very good. This is, I think Zuvatis might be... The one you're racing to the top. That's Zuvatis. That's Zuvatis. Oh. That's the top. This one you're racing to the right side of the board. You're, it's uh, like, but the, remember the board is like, Wait, it's like is loops. Is Kazuka the bicycle one? No, that's no. Volanimo. It's a- <laughs> But this there are animals on bikes zoo. in there. <laughs> Keep I going. told you all the mechanisms of this game. We have... I've got to look up the yeah, picture. Yeah, look up a picture. Uh, look up a picture. It's, got a, it's like a brown box. Pretty cool art. Um, um, you fucking loved this game. I did? Yeah, you did. <laughs> oh, yeah. With the numbers in the back. Oh, oh, the one that, the things we just the said. Number. The things we just said. Oh, the numbers. Oh, the numbers. Oh, that's right. This no, I just completely forgot this existed. But no, yeah, I remember now. That, that was fun. That was a game that <laughs> you said it last episode. Where you're like, Jeff brings over these stupid ass games all the time. And then we have to play something. And I'm like, oh, God, cool. I got to play this. That one <laughs> surprised me in a really good way. Also. Yeah. Yeah. Some of the ones that I bring over. I've I've like t- I played them. Yeah, you I'm like okay, well, this this, <laughs> this is probably someone okay. might like this. Um, that one I didn't, and I was like, let's just play. I you really enjoyed that, and I was like, we could like let's. Didn't we start over? Didn't we get like halfway through? And we're like, oh, we've, we we fucking died. Let's, let's go right yes. back I think to the beginning. Right. Yeah, we got so well because we didn't know what the, the fuck end. we were doing, right? Yeah. And we were like, oh, that was dumb. We yeah. like shot yeah. way up. Oh, we were like, yeah. well, we don't have those cards, so we're kind of fine. And I don't know how readily like available this is game. This is everywhere because Pegasus Spiel put this game out, and. Sometimes there's this weird <laughs> spiel special. The Pegasus special. 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 Sometimes there's weird delay in like shipping and you, yeah. know, you see it with these games and how old some of these games are for us, but not for the for the awards. But yeah, this was a this was a Kazuka was surprisingly good. The only thing yeah. I don't like about Kazuka is the way the name of it looks in print. It's like yeah. capital K, lowercase U. Capital Z, O, O. Yeah. Lowercase K, lowercase A. <laughs> it's like Kazuka. Like we yeah. get it, we get it. It's about a zoo. We get it. We totally get it. Yeah, the Zuvatis one you didn't like because that was yes. some uh, that was like um, uh, not bidding, like bidding, and there was you had to yeah. negotiate you can and stuff fuck like people that. Yeah. Up yeah, yeah, in yeah. that game. Yeah. The like next it. one that Natalie's going to forget that she played is a game. Maybe she didn't actually play it. It's called QE, which is a little mm-hmm. ridiculous because this game was published in 2019, four fucking years ago. Now I understand. Okay, maybe it wasn't readily available in Germany. That doesn't mean people in Germany didn't fucking play this game. 
Mm-hmm. Right? The secondary market exists for people in Germany. This game has been around for yeah, four yeah. years. However, it got broad distribution in Germany in 2020. Because it was board game two. tables, right? Board game tables. And yeah. That's what I was mostly say. Now they're I remember playing. it being yeah. board game tables. We all yep. played, we played it standing it, up. Yep. Standing the, up at that circle the, table. Um, Not sitting down. The uh, bags were like perfect. Kinda. Natalie, then, yep. I would like to know what this game's about. <laughs> If, if it there's money in it, that's a, all I remember. Okay, okay. That's, you got you got Not something. Bad. What yep. else? Do, what do you do in the game? I told I just told you come what on, I remember. Come on, pretend, pretend. Try, no, I, well, okay. Try. Yeah. So what do you what do you like do with the money or where like where is it? Is it like monopoly money? Search your search your file fold your memory well, file least, folder is it like in an your brain. Investment? Oh well, that's a money thing. What are you doing? Okay, I, I it's know. auction, yep. and oh. you can bid. Whatever the fuck. Oh, you yeah. Like, want. like a bajillion dollars. Yeah, yeah. But most money loses, I think. Or you lose points if, if you, you have the most if money. If you have spent the most money, yeah. you automatically oh. lose. You're out. Okay. So yeah. you can say a bajillion dollars, but if somebody doesn't say a bajillion and one, yeah. then you're just fucking yeah, there's be like, dead. There's one person who's like the active player and they, like, something's up for bid on their turn and they, they then look at all the bids. So you get to see what people are kind of bidding. Um, but yeah, the game can get outrageous. Mm-hmm. Like, you could just yeah, you could bid five billion, billion dollars, but then someone knows number. that you bid five billion dollars, so it's like they just bid five billion dollars. I can go, I, I can, can go this more. Next one really high, yeah, but I still have to go five billion dollars. Right. And then someone, the next person sees that and goes, well, he's bid four billion. Like what? This yeah. is weird. It's weird. And then it, or it could just be like two dollars. Yep, three, three, five, right. three fifty. Yeah, maybe you don't, I don't know if you're going there, but it's a weird. Um, it's cool. I don't again. I, I'm going to talk about this in a little bit. I don't think it belongs here. It's. Uh, not I don't me. think it belongs here. I don't think these games necessarily need to have uh, a spot on this list if they've been out to the general world population for more than four fucking years or yeah, three fucking years. I think we've reached a time where you can get things that you kind of want or that people have been playing it, like especially things like online. Yeah, I get in 19. 19- even even early 2000s, like if you wanted to wait a year or there was a two year delay, okay. But like we're sitting in a in a, I could type my entire college career on Chat GPT, yeah. And, and I and you can't get a game, right? That's been for four that, years. Yeah, it came out in 2019. That now needs like that and needs the recognition to every yeah. year, every year. I know there's, there's a game that's game. like what the fuck, and there's a game that's even older. Yeah, by like a standard deviation than QE that's on the list coming up that we're going to talk about, Strange. and I'll talk more about it. Okay, so then there's another, a game we have not played called Sea Salt and Paper, mm-hmm. which we talked about briefly last episode that yeah, it came it, up. Did it end up winning a print and play, or it won a, or was yeah for the Golden Geek nominated or something mm-hmm. like that? Yeah, and then a game that we just played, just played it before. We just played today that Jeff's going to talk about right now called That's Not a Hat. Okay, this is a nominee. That's not a hat. That's not that much hat. Yeah. Now, <laughs> this game I saw on this list, and I was like, okay, don't know anything about it. Right, mm-hmm. honorable mention. Let's okay, try. sounds good. On Saturday, this past Saturday, when we hung out at Donkey Kong Dave's Madigan's house, yep. John Kalinske had this game in his pants. Okay, he brought it over. <laughs> and I heard people playing it. Were they playing it when we were finishing up this other game? I don't think so. No, okay. John was So it was there. later. Yeah, was Maybe there, it was yeah. during Istanbul. They were playing it or whatever. So they're playing the game. I kind of hear it. And I'm like, that sounds interesting. So then I played it later. I immediately bought a copy. I bought a second copy because I'm keeping one at school and I'm keeping one mm, at my house. Idea. So let's talk about this game. Okay. That's not a hat is the name of the game. This is a memory game. <laughs> okay. Fuck. Yeah, I'm surprised. Okay. I was very surprised similar, that you own it. <laughs> similar to yeah. Order Cafe Overboss Load Pants, whatever the f- what is, what is that? It's called. Um, I can't get it. Here yeah. it is. Here he called. Uh, oh. Order over here it is. Yeah. Cafe order. Or, yep. Overload. No. Nope. Cafe order order overload cafe. Order, order, order. order. <laughs> I even forgot. Order overload. Man, cafe. what's wrong with my memory? Well, I just said a whole bunch of random stuff. That yeah. Threw you off. <laughs> so order overload cafe. It's like that, right? Mm-hmm. Remembering things. It's not cooperative though. This is a, kind of a competitive game. Yeah. But it makes um, you feel the same amount of stupid. Yes, it yep. makes you feel the same amount of stupid <laughs> and the same amount of everything that that and the game. The makes same you amount feel. of laughter is in yeah. it. I think. So this game is just a stack of cards with really simple drawings on them. There's anything and everything: pants, gloves, popcorn, cheese, football. Pizza. What do we right. have? Um, not a clothespin. A safety, safety pin. pin. 
Just like, and they're like very simple drawings. Like if I told you, you have 10 seconds to draw a TV, that's, this is what it would look like. Yeah. yeah. There's nothing very fancy basic. about it. It should be that way. And Black it should and white, be that way. Yeah. On the back of the card, it says the name of the game, which is, that's not a hat. And it has an arrow. Okay. All of these cards are called GIFs. No, no. It's pronounced GIFs. GIFs. All of these, all of these cards are GIFs that you are <laughs> passing back and forth. Thank you for my you birthday, GIF. And your players, <laughs> the other players. Okay. So everyone has a card face down. There's there's a beginning of the game where everyone kind of has face up and you sort of work your way. But anyway, everyone has a face face down the card in front of them. And um, you are passing the card based on the arrow that's on the back of it. Okay, the passing begins. So you pass the card to your left or right, and you have to tell that person what the card is. So I would say something like, hey, Natalie, here is some popcorn. Okay. And now Natalie would have two cards in front of her because there's three of us. So there'd be four cards in play. So Natalie accepts the popcorn and says, thanks for the popcorn. And then she has to pass her other card that she already had sitting in front of us based on the arrow. That's that's the game. That's the game. Mm-hmm. Okay. And say the same shit. And then as you pass it around, so then Natalie says, all right, hey, Ryan, here is a, here is a pizza. Thanks for the pizza, Thanks Natalie. for the pizza. So at any pizza. point in time, you can say... You can say one of two things when you get a card. Thanks for the pizza. Thanks for the blank. Or you can say, that's that's not a cat. That's not a blank. That's not a blank. Yeah. Fuck, I was wrong That's not pants. Shit. <laughs> that's not and pants. you then flip over that card, and if it is that thing, you have to keep the point. It's like BS, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. You're kind of saying, yep. I, I have two threes, and you pass them along. Yeah. Um, right. Yeah. That's good for comparison. <laughs> so. I love BS. I know. That's I, a that, great card game. That's kind of about this. Yeah, yeah, that's a really fun card game. Um, so as soon as someone hits three kind of wrong answers, that round sort of ends or the game ends. It's really kind of up in the air for if you want to keep playing and keep track of points. You don't want cards in front of you. You want to remember what's there. Mm-hmm. Um, I explained pretty much the whole rules for you. You have a card. If a card gets past you, it's your turn. You have to pass the other card that was in front of you. That's it. You'd think it would be easy to remember. We play with three people. I've played this game with... Six. Six, seven, eight, and now three. And wow. I've played it like maybe ten times. Was it the same hard every time? <laughs> it's the same fucking frustrating. I don't understand how you just handed me something. I can't remember what you just yeah. gave me two fucking Well, there's only ago. three people, so that means there's only four cards there's in play four. at a time. You'd think you could remember four cards. Yeah, but here's the problem. You can't remember them. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> then, you can't remember where they are. Imagine if... You, you, so you see so you see something once it then gets flipped over all these cards are flipped over yeah you just see the back of the card now there are two backs there's half the deck is uh white lettering mm-hmm. half the deck is black lettering so a situation can come up where like three of the cards out there have black lettering and then a white lettering card comes up and, and that's your key okay yeah. the white card there is the but if the next one is white after that one goes away then you're like what oh, was no. the bite the bite what is yeah, it and or, you're just yeah, trying yeah. so hard to remember what's right the one fucking card in front of you you're trying to remember that one mm-hmm. and then a new card comes into play and you're like okay okay now a teddy bear is in play cool and then you're like what was what I, what, what was yeah, i just now thinking i forgot the other one so like i i immediately play this game and i'm like what the fuck like why are these games everywhere now Okay, Again, I was going to bring this, that up, like, too. Thing. Why does that happen? There's a phenomenon in board yeah. games and probably in everything in life where something comes out, it gets huge, and then everything's like that. There's no way this is not a hat saw Order Overload Cafe and was like, let's make one of those. Right. There's no way. No. They were already, it was already, like, in production yeah. probably, right? There's no fuck way. And even, like, we've played, we played Nana a whole bunch, and there's a yeah. memory aspect to that. So we're seeing these games that are just, like, yeah. bothering my brain. Mm-hmm. So I think, I think to myself, like, all right, this exists. Why do I suck at this so much? And why do I want to keep playing this game? <laughs> like, why did I want to continue to play this game for how angering it is? I don't understand. <laughs> but I have fun because it's just so funny. Um, because I don't think anybody had any idea what was going on for, like, minutes at a time. Yeah. There were times where, like, even Natalie had no idea what was going on, and that felt good. I lost the oh, game. Yeah. We somewhere. were like, yeah. all right. Yeah, we, we beat her. Yeah, oh we, we my gosh, we won! <laughs> yes. Yeah, I, so, I do want to ask you. I was like, what easy. do you think it is about this game? I feel like you hate Order Overload. Like you never want to play that I game think, ever. So, but this one, you like it. So what? Like, what's the? I don't, is it I don't because know. one is cooperative and you feel dumber giving, like letting the group down? Is that what well, it yeah, is? Like, I think part of it is that we're probably. like, I, yeah, I'm letting everyone down when I have no so idea. So it's what's not going just on. me being stupid. It's like I'm being stupid for, on behalf of the group. Yeah, and I think maybe like. You can get away in in this game. 
if you sound confident, you could <laughs> yeah. get away with something. Yeah, because that's, okay, that's the one thing you didn't mention. That's a good point. It's not just a memory game. This game is also a bluffing game. Yeah, because if it, you forgot, don't look like it. So me right. and Jeff, that's the reason we won this game. It's exactly what I talked about earlier in the episode. Me and Jeff have radio <laughs> voice. That's funny. We can say <laughs> things with confidence that make it sound like you, we're going to gaslight you, basically. Here's yeah. a, here, here, Natalie, take this bicycle. That's not. It, it's come on. It's a fucking bicycle. Thanks to the bicycle. Don't Say be stupid. Bicycle. Don't be dumb. It's a bicycle. <laughs> You're like, oh, okay. It's yeah. a bicycle. Okay. We're like, yes. <laughs> yeah, and now you think it's a bicycle. So, so now I, there yep. were times where you passed Ryan something wrong, or Ryan passed you something, or passed me something, and we all knew that what, the other right. one knew that was wrong and they're like, I can't wait till you pass me yep, that card because I know it's get, not yeah. that. And then while you're thinking that, you're like, I know that's a, I know that's a closed <laughs> pen and you fucked up and you're like, well, what the hell is sitting shit. in front of me? I forgot yeah. the card right in front of me. Right. Why do I know your card and not my else. card? There was a moment. Natalie had um, the roller skate. Do you remember this yeah. moment, Jeff? Uh-huh. So Natalie had this roller skate. Me and Jeff both knew it was a fucking roller skate. Natalie yeah. had no <laughs> clue. Now, the turn before she had to decide what to give me, she had just given me... Um, I think it was, uh, it doesn't matter what it is. We'll say it was the bicycle. Okay. She had just given me the bicycle and now she has to decide again, like what the fuck? I have to give this card away. What is this card? And it was a roller skate and she was going to get, she had to give it to me. The arrow told her to give it to me. And so while she was sitting there thinking what it was, I forgot that the card in front of me was a bicycle. And so yeah. I'm like <laughs> laughing at first. Cause like, she's got a roller yeah, skate. Uh-huh. Ha, ha. But I'm like, shit. If she figures it out, if she she's going to give it to me. Skate. And now I don't remember what the yeah. bicycle is. And I got to give that away and I'm going to lose. <laughs> and I think it's so funny that I, it had to be play tested or something that they make you say, here is a blank and thank you for the blank. Thank you. Because the words, you keep saying the things that are already in play and it messes you up. Yeah. Purposely. That had to be I in think, there. Where I think there's something to that. Some words saying. So you I'm think like, like if you say bicycle and then I say you, you say I bicycle, bicycle and then I'm like, okay. And then that Thank pushes you for the, the other word and then the I'm other like, yeah. card well, out of your brain. Okay. No, well, that's a bicycle. What, even what was I, just in front of me? Even if you say like, here's this and the other person said nothing back. I think that would almost be easier, easier than you having to be like, thank yeah. you for because the something. Yeah. In your brain. Because then you're like, I'm, I'm like, now putting in yep. my memory that this is this. Yep. The other one's gone. This. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or I'm sitting here in front of me. I'm like, think if I just try, say, I'm going to think about my one card and go, all right, it's a teddy bear. It's a teddy bear. It's a teddy bear. And then you hand me that and I say, thanks for the bicycle. This is a teddy bear. And then I'm like, Fuck, the, was I, I was only saying the word teddy bear in my yeah. brain 500 times. And right. I just forgot. It's like that meme. Have you seen that meme where like, it's like, I'm introdu- I'm meeting you for the first time, Jeff. And I'm like, hi, my name's Ryan. And yeah. you're like, hi, Ryan, I'm Jeff. Yeah. And as you say that, I grab the name Jeff and I put it into my brain, but yep. it crinkles up because there's a bunch For of other stuff seconds. and I just completely forget yeah. your name. It's like, kind of like that. You should say your name like game. four times or something before. When this you game should somebody. be called, what is your name again? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just be all names. Hi, I'm, that would be really funny. <laughs> yeah, that, that could just be, be names on the yeah, card. Names so this hilarious. game is like so simple and one of these ones where you're like, how did I not think of this? But it, it yeah. doesn't, again, do anything. Like, is it BS? Kind of. Kind of. Yeah, it's is like it? a mix between BS and... Although in BS, you're willingly lying if you... Because you, you go around in a circle, right? Memory. Threes, fours, fives. If I don't have any right. fives, I'm lying to say I have yeah. fives. Right. This, you don't really want to be lying. Yeah. Right? Right. Like you don't you're want not to trying trick to lie. someone next to you, most you just, What you want to do is if you don't know, you don't want to be like, oh, God, I don't know what this is. You want to be like, yeah. oh, here you go. Here's a pen cap. Yeah. yeah, that's true. That's what you want to do. And oh, in a three-player okay. game, it's harder to get away with that. Yes. Okay. Yeah. With more people, it... What's harder about more people is if there's like six, there could be a situation where three, four, five cards just kind of go between three people because the arrows, because it's not oh, always right. a clockwise That's thing. That's right. So sure. it's it's hard on that side, which we've seen because we're experiencing that when we were playing three. Mm-hmm. We're experiencing the card shifting around, but also sitting on the other side and trying like seeing what's being spun around there and then, then continuing to try to remember your own card yeah is also track all really that. tough do people in a, in a in a more a higher player count did you find people were calling other people out like say you give natalie a card okay mm-hmm. and you don't know what it is so you're just like here natalie here's the straw and everyone else is like there's no fucking straw he's just making that up yeah do people go like Natalie, call them out. Yeah. Do people well, do that? Okay, so I, spe- I play this with my students a lot and they love calling you. Like, they're like, yeah. calling you. They're like, no, that's not a rollerblade. Yeah. No, 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 no. Flip it up. So they tell the per- not, well, when they it's not do their it, turn. But sometimes they're wrong. Yeah. <laughs> so there was, there was one girl that was purposely being like, that's not it. But yeah. she knew that it was still a pizza or whatever. But she's like, that's wrong. Yeah. Flip it over. And he's like, oh, I knew it was a pizza. I mean, that's actually a good thing to that's do because it's, all that matters is who loses, right? right. It's not who, everyone else wins. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah, you can go like whoever has the least amount of cards wins oh, or I whatever. Or you can play like three rounds and say, 
So if we would have played another round, Natalie would have three points to go with, and then we would have two or whatever. It got was. it. And then you go to the next round. So if she would have got zero in the next round, then she'd be winning. What, right? see, so it's like I you see. can add it up, sort of like like a six nimit sort of scoring yeah. um, style. But yeah, that makes sense. I don't, this game is how is, many does it play? It says eight, but I don't. Okay. I think God, eight that is sounds a, impossible. I know it sounds so hard. Yeah, it's one of those things where it's like, why couldn't you play fifteen? You could. But I don't think that the cards would move in a right, way that would make the game fun. If you're playing with eight people, do you not typically see cards that are at the other end of the table? Um, you might. You might. But there's, it seems the, like it would take a long time to get it to It does. Me. Trying to remember the ones next to you are really important. Yeah. yeah. But if if there's like that card that just, if everybody has a card in front of you that goes to the right, right you're going you're to get, get that card. You're going to get the random one that was... The toothbrush six right. cards ago. And you're right. like, oh, okay, I guess it's a toothbrush. Okay, we'll say it's a toothbrush. No yeah, one else we did a couple of times it. when we were playing, when I was playing with my students, we we like stopped. Like the game was kind of over and we we're like, all right, what do you think you have? And there were times where we we're like, we're, I don't four know. Four of us were like fucking wrong. Who we're fucking like, knows? Like, yeah, I have the pants. And you flip it over, like, nope, nope. where did that come no, from? Oh, shit, it's the condom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, like, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a picture of a dick. <laughs> I guess. That's a fucking dick again. What do you do? Here it is. But overall, it's it's fun. Like, do I think it's, should, do I think it's in the conversation for game of the year? No, but it's fun and it's a great game to have yeah. in your collection. It's well, in a small box. John it's, brought it over. You immediately bought it. Then you brought it here and then we immediately bought it. I just so got a notification from you? Amazon saying it shipped. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Can get here tomorrow? You ordered it like two hours. One day shipping, one bitch. One day, bitch. It's like 100 bucks a year for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now those are the honorable mentions. Yeah. Uh, let's now move on to the main event. Bum, bum. The games nominated for the spiel. So first up, we have... Dorf goes fishing. Dorf goes fishing. <laughs> Since last episode when Dorf goes fishing was brought up, I had not heard of it. Actual name is Dorf Romantic. Dorf the name romantic. sounded so ridiculous and foreign to me. It was like that time I didn't know what a blue waffle was. Do not Google that. Oh my God, please don't. <laughs> Since I looked into it, I both bought the board game and the video game it's based on. And I think Jeff bought the video game as well. I don't think I know what a blue waffle is. You don't want to Google no, that. It's bad. And I say that as your dear friend. I know you're. I know all, I, all that's going disgusting. on in your brain is you want to Google it now because I'm telling you not to. Where did you hear it from? It's like a. I heard it from it's Ryan. Like a. Oh, I thought everybody knew what it <laughs> no. was. No, you guys you don't. I remember didn't Googling you didn't it, it a long no, no, no. time ago. When I first heard about it, like six years ago, I was like, "Oh, uh, blue waffle, what's that?" And then it's that's it's it's almost like two girls, one cup. Uh, no, no, okay, no. it's not like that. But right, it's it was that it, shock. It's like that or thing, or or, okay. or sometimes you'd be like, you'd talk to somebody about, oh, two girls, one cup, and they're like, what's that? And it's like, don't oh, Google don't, two don't girls, yeah. one cup. Okay, blue waffle is the same thing. You just trust me. I, I don't think okay. you'd want to. Hopefully anyway, I'll since I looked into it, both I both bought the board game and the video game. We gave it a play and found that, damn, this is not something you want to play with six people. But playing with two or three. That's a different story. Conceptually, this is cooperative Carcassonne. You're laying hex tiles down to create a shared giant map filled with grassland, water farm, cities, and railroad. And though uh, in this one, the sides don't always have to match each other, you definitely want them to. Where it differs from Carcassonne is in every other way. Uh, in Blue Waffle, players are working together to achieve the highest what? score based on task tile requirements and a number of other ways once you open legacy light components. Uh, basically, a task tile will have a number on it and appear on a tile, let's say of water, and let's say the number is five. What that means is you need to have exactly five other water tiles connected to, I'm sorry, five water tiles connected to each other. And the moment that happens, boom, you score five points and a new task tile is revealed. Once the tiles are gone, the game ends and you total up your score and see how you did. So things I liked about this one, the game is extremely simple and relaxing and chill. And the soundtrack is awesome. Mm -hmm. And we turn it on every time we play. Yep. Do you listen to the, the soundtrack on the video game? The volume is sometimes on. Very relaxed. <laughs> is it playing it's in the background of the game? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's yeah. like spa music. Yeah. Like so we, we put that on when we play the board game. Opening the boxes is a lot of fun as we discover new ways to interact with the tiles and more ways to score points. The game gets much more robust the more you play, and I really enjoy it quite a bit, especially with two or three. So things I didn't like. The game being chill and simple can also be a hindrance when you're playing with six dwarfs as the turns require almost zero thought. Six dwarfs is too many dwarfs. That's too many. There's what too many you to go want fishing. is a dwarf or two, possibly three dwarfs, but yeah, six dwarfs. Dwarf romantic, not dwarfs. Not romantic. dwarfs romantic, Duh. but six dwarfs, too many dwarfs. In a game like Carcassonne, there's a lot of thought 
as you are also staking claim over territory and trying to weasel your way into other people's territory. And so there's much more to think about on your turn. But in this one, you're all working together. And most of the thought on the turn is extremely minimal, almost zero thought. So the time it takes you to take your turn is much less than the time it takes for your turn to come around again. Waiting a few minutes to take your five second turn is just a recipe for boredom. So I personally think that this game is much too simplistic to play with a large group of dwarfs. It's just not going to hold interest overall, though, with two or three or probably one dwarf, as that's how the video game is. This game is fucking awesome. In our six player game, I was let down. You don't need six dwarfs. Too many fucking dwarfs in the romantic. It doesn't serve the gameplay in any way. But with two dwarfs, the game sings. Turns are lightning quick, and it's fun to chat with the other dwarf about where exactly things should go. With six dwarfs, I was like, this is the game that's up for game of the year. But when we reeled in the dwarfs back to two or three, I was like, okay, this game's fucking great. And it's all I want to play right now. I just want to keep playing with Natalie, keep opening boxes mm -hmm. and keep and improving our score. Cause really all you do in this game is you just try to get a high score like cooperative games do. Mm -hmm. uh, so in that way, I really understand why Dwarf Goes Waffling is nominated for the Spiel des Jahres. <laughs> Natalie, what did you think of that? <laughs> okay. So when we played with the six players, um, I agree. I didn't really understand what the fuss was about. I, What's all the fuss about? Is that I what you think said? What is all the fuss? What's all the fuss? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I I was like trying to understand it. I was kind of like, is this a game for like people who they're it's like they want to be like doing something while they can be actually be like chit chatting? Yeah, you know, like you're playing a game, but really we want to be able to talk through it, and you don't have to pay that much attention, right? And, you know, so I was trying to like justify like what is this? What what group is this for? Um, but I didn't like it. That yeah. in that way and then we played it with Cameron so we, the two of us played it with him and that was much better that was pretty fun I would say um, in for us it would be good with more people if we just played with our family like it was us and the kids yeah totally just because we're helping the gum anyway you know what I yep. mean like I wouldn't play it with six adults but I'd play it with our five person family where three of them are children <laughs> it's a pretty like yeah, game and so it's like a fun activity nothing. for that yeah um and but you you kept trying you kept emphasizing that it was like bad at six good at two i almost disagree in the way where i think it's good at two but it 100 percent needs those boxes and challenges yeah because if it was just like the base game at two it would very True. quickly that's a good point get old yeah and so that's the whole thing. Those boxes. I mean, it gives you stuff. It gives you achievements. There's that because like, like a sheet of paper, like when you score a certain amount of points, you kind of like, you know, cross off these little circles that like branch out and, and gives you more challenges to do. And that to me is what makes the game actually good. You're right. You're totally right. But so because of that, I like it. Um, but I don't just, I like it with that like caveat. Like I don't want to True. Just Vanilla play it. Dwarf Romantic yeah. goes fishing to the waffles is it's right. just So kind of right. reminds me of like be, when we played yeah. Decorum and you open all these waffles. boxes the and you waffles. and it makes it a little more challenging. You're like Decorum, base decorum, which is the two of us would probably be like, mm, okay, that I'm yeah, over this sucks, that. Right. You but need this we, stuff. We like yeah. added all this stuff to it, you know, and kept like going and that reminds me of this and although and that way it's fun i still wouldn't pl wouldn't want to do that even with the boxes i wouldn't want to do that with six people oh yeah you know what Agreed. i mean even no, with that I, still, I say no to six people unless it's like yeah. with your kids and then i say yes with two people with the boxes gotta play with the boxes although yeah. you wouldn't not it's like legacy light yeah. you could just open everything up yeah and then just put a bunch of challenge stuff out and then play with right. everything you, you could do it if that but way it if you wanted not, to Oh yeah, it's not necessary. How many boxes are there? Five. Have you opened them all? No, no. well, we haven't gotten that far. We've opened three. We opened box yeah, one, box two, three. and box four. Okay. You yeah. didn't want to do three? You were like, fuck that. No, up. three is, it, it's weird that they're numbered that way. Three, yeah. you open like a little at a time. So when this thing branches How out, you that know tells you that? what to open. It tells you, you. Yeah, there's a, there's a, like a, there's, there's like, like a, a pad of paper. Is that in box one? No, so like oh, no, that's there's, there's always regular... this pad of paper, and when you when you play, so when we played our first six player game, I circled down a little box. Once Depending we once we score, circled in two boxes, circles. it's like okay, you've played three games. Open box one. Box one gives you another challenge to play, and then you keep then you play the game again with those challenges. And then depending on what score you get, the more circles you can circle in, and then eventually it's like okay, open box two, and then it branches. 
So then you can like pick, okay, when we do so first fill circles, and now we're going to go this way instead yeah. of that way. The numbers of the boxes it's don't like really a make right. sense. Yeah, it's a dwarf and right. But like, I think like some of, huh. some of like one, two, we'd have an open four and five, obviously. Or no, we, we've opened four. We have an open five and yeah, three. Yeah, whatever. We haven't opened all of them. But like he said, that number three one, I think it has a bunch of stuff in it that it's just cards that you're going to eventually get to on that achievement um branch map thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's like a map right. right and so like it's just holding it all but you're gonna eventually like use all the stuff in there yeah so you could you could just open it and so, take like, it all technically out. that could be a bunch of boxes but there's no point because it's it's, it could but it's fun doing it that, that way so i think yeah. i know jeff's thoughts but go ahead and give it to us anyway jeff okay so i um with again a caveat i've only played it with the six i downloaded the game to see a little bit of the fuss because the game is can also be not expensive solo. 10 bucks 10 should should only should only be played solo. The, the game. video game. The video game. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think um, you can play the video game multiple. And I player. well, okay. Based on my five player experience or six player experience of the, the the board game should only be played solo. But you played it in two and I believe you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, you, um, with, you you didn't play any of the box stuff. Natalie's right about that. The box stuff makes it fun. If it was just what you played, yeah, I would I would Even almost two, agree. Like, it was nah. based completely yeah, I would on almost just agree. what I've played. Yeah, without the box six stuff. Six <laughs> players, I had no idea why this game existed. It was barely a game that we played at six. It was borderline an activity while we were talking to each other. Yep. Right, exactly. Um, there was even not, and and again, this map changes things and the box changes things, but there wasn't even a, like we ended and we're like, get 60 points. And you're like, well, what does that mean? Nothing. It meant yeah. nothing. So it didn't mean anything while we were playing, which then made it even, to me, more pointless. Well, let us fill in one um, circle. If we got higher sure. score, we'd fill in two circles, maybe. Okay, and and then that leads to to more game. But I didn't yep. know that existed. Right. So yeah, I'm yeah, playing yeah. like For what sure. the f- like this is use. <laughs> this is a useless time waster, which yeah. is what the video game is. Mm-hmm. The video game is a time wasting video game, right? You're not. It's not this like crazy puzzle. It's built that way. It's, it's built as you just like just exactly. chill after work cool. and just shut your brain down and play. And that's. So when I played right, like the six-player thing, I was like, that's a game that I would like to play on my phone while watching TV. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So this is now a game that I play sometimes at work when the kids are taking a test. Yeah, it's perfect. Right? Well, because you can so come I've back to it, too, like and it saves your and progress. And I just sit there. Yeah, right. Yeah. And it plays for, like, a fucking eternity. I'm, like, still playing my first game after hours and hours, right? <laughs> you like, I'm like, oh, cool. I'm going to run out of tiles. I want to see what my whatever is. And then it's like, oh, you did something. Here's well, you're playing too well. Tiles, you're playing too right? well. So I'm like, okay, I just got to Because you get more tiles if you play well. Yeah, if you do stuff, you get more tiles. So. As I play the computer game, I'm like, okay, I see the, I see this as being something entertaining. The computer yeah. game. I was like, this is fun. I get why people like this. Yeah. But then I'm like, the experience of the board game was not fun. Mm-hmm. That was not. And but we if you also think about like, it, the the video game. You, you play the video game now. All those challenges that you're playing in the video game, they are in the board game. Just you have to unlock them all. Sure. And then there's you know things I mean? like you know the. You know, everything in the board game is limited, at least in the beginning, to like six of something or th- three of something. And and the the video game, it's like have ten thousand trees, right, yeah. or something, and you just mm-hmm. kind of keep playing. Yeah. Um. But again, that is an activity that I want to do while sitting around doing nothing, not a board game that I wanted to play, right? Mm-hmm. And that that's kind of how I felt. So I was like, as we were playing, I'm like, what are we competing against? What are we? You know, in in fun co op games like. I don't know. Hanabi came to my brain. We're working together to yeah. solve this puzzle. Right. It just felt like something that didn't to do. seem like a puzzle to me. Yeah. It just seemed like I'll just put my tile over there because we need three of those. You're totally right. Three. Yeah, yeah, you're totally right. Um, so I do like the challenges are where you'd feel that it would feel like yes, it would need the challenges. Yeah. And even like Natalie said, you could tell me that these challenges were challenging, and I still don't think that I would ever want to play it at six. No way. Oh, with, agreed. With, Fuck with, like, no. And yeah. sure, if you want to play it with your kids at like four. Great. Yeah, yeah. Because it's really just like the two of you and Cameron and Lexi are like one person. Well, what's right? good it's about like, it, I think, for the family, like that little kids, they don't care about they don't care. the little, the dumb They decisions. just want to do the activity. Yeah. Right? Like, the activity oh, I can put game. this tile here. Yay. And yeah. But I think fun. what I like in board games is a puzzle, yeah. is a challenge, right. is decision making. And <laughs> as a six player and the base dwarf game. romantic, there was none of that. Right, right. Right? It was just and it was vanilla. It was just yeah. a sit around there activity. Was nothing to so it. I would be like I would be interested in like if I wanted to play it with Devin, maybe to hang around. I and honestly do it. think you guys would enjoy you it. You might I like really it with do. this stuff. Because it'll be like, do this. And if you do it, 
flip then, this card over and it gives this. you this. Yeah, but so but to do the thing, like you're not, you might not try, get it's it the hard first time to you do. play it. Yeah. yeah, and I like so the idea of like there's challenges, right? It's not just okay. I made three rivers. I made six rivers. I made this yeah. exactly. Um, and at least in the video game, when you're making this sort of massive, because in the in the the base game of Dwarf Romantic, there's forty tiles. I don't know how many. There, I'm sure there's more in those boxes, right? Um, yes. You're mm-hmm. placing in the video game. You're placing hundreds of tiles. Yes. Yeah. And you are trying to match sides, which I think is a fun. That, that's yeah. that's a puzzle that I like in the video well, game. That happens that, in the board game. Sure, it should. It does yeah. it should happen right away? And maybe they wanted it to be cool with these boxes. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's the weird part Just about like, it. That's actually a really give good me the point. Game. That's actually a really good point. They almost made the vanilla part a little too vanilla. Right, like how yeah. are you going to get people to come back if you make agree. that part not Well, because fun. Well, I think their worst-case scenario happened. Their worst-case scenario is probably, man, what if a group of six sits down and plays <laughs> yeah. this for the first time and then they don't play it again? That's worst-case scenario. Yeah. That's what happened to us. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Because, it, Jeff, we were, the, we were the same fucking way. I was like, I cannot believe I bought this. Yeah. I feel yeah. stupid. The only reason we kept going was because we were like, oh, you know, Cameron wanted to play a game, and we're like, "This is a cr- yeah, like we know how to play. Game. It'll take two we'll, seconds. We'll it's it really again. simple." And then we're like, "Oh, this was way better." And then we played it just the two of us, and we're like, and "Let's open that better. box we got from playing with Cameron and add that in yeah. and play with the two of us." We're like, "Oh, this is even and, better." And, we and then opened, we kept going. And we opened a box that had a challenge, and we failed it. And That's we were kind of like, "Oh fuck!" Well, we and then we were like, again. "Let's play the game right now." Yeah. And yeah. we completed it the second time. But yeah, so I do. I actually really think that you and Devin would enjoy it. With the two of you, yeah. I yeah. really do. I think Devin would. I think Devin would find it. I think she would like it a lot. I think you would have a much. Well, I know you would have a better time with it. That, yeah, that was. I, I think that was the worst possible because yes, we agree with you about how that to myself, Like, why is that? <laughs> why is it built that way too? Like, yeah, I, I know surprised. that you, it's hard. Oh, you to mean for six players? Solo games or two player only games? I get there's like specific markets for things, and and they just went well. Why? I think in their brain, in this developers mm-hmm. sitting at a table games, well, why can't it play six? One to six. It's probably six. what they did, yeah. but it's Everybody like. Everybody could play this. It shouldn't play six. No. And that clearly wasn't the discussion, right? They played and it and they were the like, stuff, it could play I, 50. I could even see four maybe being fun, but I still yeah. think six is you could too have, many. You could have 40. Everyone take one tile, and when it's your turn, put it down. <laughs> right. Like, and we but, all Because you are, it it's cooperative, be and you are all talking, so like. I don't, I don't well, know. Well, it's I because don't really get it's it. because of the decisions are just not they are not necessary to have six brains thinking about it. Yes. The decisions are like I drew a tile with yellow and I need to connect it to yellow. You know that the yeah, second you I see it. So you're going to play it here. Put it over there. Like you don't need three people to be like, "Jeff, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. What if you do that? You don't need Or that. you don't yeah. need to like make One it match 100%. All you need. So you're like, "Oh, shit, I can't put it there." In oh, again, in the in, in the other thing, the base. Yes, yeah. and, and in the video game you want to get as many perfect tiles that's how you keep and getting that more kind of tiles. stuff. And that's mm-hmm. that's the fun for me was going as I'm placing tiles to turn it in the right way and go you know, my next couple tiles you can see in the video game. Like, yeah. oh, oh, I can okay. see my next two tiles. Yeah, you see the that one you're tile has oh, houses cool. on it. Let me maybe make this one angled so then that one can fit next to it, sort of. Mm-hmm. And that that again, that puzzle made me want to come back to continue to play the video game more, yeah. which I didn't get from that six player experience. Right, for sure. It was Dwarf dreadful. Ghost no, it was, it, totally, it was so bad. Computer game that's on. They like, have a it's on Steam. I don't know. Oh, knockoff on, on the App Store. It's oh, like do it's they? terrible. Um, okay. I so computer like, downloaded or Steam. it and immediately deleted Steam's it. Steam's on the computer. Oh, yeah, it's like ten, twelve bucks, ten, twelve bucks. Yeah, I think I bought it I've for gotten, mine. Might have been my, yeah, mine might have been like thirteen or fourteen. Yeah, so it's you can find it on sale. It's though, worth like I've I've gotten my money. I think out of just playing it. Oh, dude, now, I like yeah. it a lot it's, for that reason. It is Natalie. You would you could play it for two minutes in between meetings or yeah, yeah. as you're just kind of sitting there, and that's that's what I like about. That's what I wanted out of it. I played right. it and I was like, I want to play this game sitting on the couch. Yeah. yeah. Or at school. Like, I, I yeah. want to play it while I'm not working. Yeah. And that's what I got out of it. Um, I do believe you that that one and two play because as soon as I, I was like, this is a this is a one player game. This is a two player game. Yeah. And, yeah. and I would I would definitely play it again or try it again with just Devin and I. Or, I think she would like it. I think after um, we finish it, I think we give it to you and you you guys try box it. Box it up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I know because I. I I don't think it's going to necessarily change your mind that it's the greatest game. I, th- I really do think you would enjoy yeah. it. I really do. Um, so next up is Fun 
Facts, the cooperative game where you answer questions like, on a scale of 1 to 100, how fun is fun facts? And then everyone secretly writes their answers down on a dry erase arrow, and then we go around the table and place our arrows on a line, one at a time, based on where we think we are in relation to each other based on that question. So I might be like, hmm, I know Jeff hates this fucking game, so I'm probably mm. a bit higher than him, so I'll put my arrow right on top of his, but below Natalie's, because she fucking likes this game a little bit. Then we reveal them and remove any that are out of order, and we score points together. We played Fun Facts last year, and after that, we played Green Team Wins, and Fun Facts was fun, and fun is okay, but amazing would be fun, and Green Team Wins was amazing. Yeah. So I think the nomination committee got it wrong with this one. I think Green Team Wins is the better party game, hands down, and Fun Facts is more like fun opinions, because that shit is debatable. Here's, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say why I think Fun Facts got nominated. Okay. okay. Because the year before, just one got nominated. And no, no, wasn't the year the year before two years was ago? was um so clover, uh, so clover. yeah did that get nominated for I don't know either way fuck so I just won one because yeah, just, just one, one just one 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 and was there yeah. yeah so clover was also great that yeah. fun facts people over Has people the repos. like people did it and were like this is fun right yeah and then it wasn't <laughs> like it was fine I think where yeah. where it was sort I think of it was fun fun but it wasn't great it no. wasn't the best party game that came out that year no. I mean, we just yeah. played a better party game. I yeah. think it, it yes. was just like it was like okay, well, so, some of the fun maybe was like personal question. There was like there's some like, that are like shoe, personal, size? shoe size, right? But that's also like not fun because if you're like playing with a group, you're like, all right, well, my feet are probably like I know my wife is bigger than hers, but right. maybe not. Like the personal stuff might have been kind of funny. Yeah, you just go by height, probably. Um, yeah. You know, it's but like, it was it was just kind of like. It wasn't bad. I did not. I didn't OK play it. I wasn't yeah. like. Oh, I enjoyed fuck. it. But then when we played Green Team Wins, you're like, we're like, oh, right now. This yeah, game I'm never, is yeah. I'm never playing the other one. I liked Green Team Wins better. I liked Order Overload Cafe better. I like yeah. this is not a hat. This is not a hat. That's yeah. that's not. That's yeah, not. That's I like not that's hat. not a hat better. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll, I liked all three of those, like marketedly better, like way Agreed. better. Mm-hmm. Fun Agreed. facts though was. Fine, right? Again, like I would totally fine. play okay, it again. Okay, facts or fun opinions. It was not bad. But it wasn't. It wasn't just one in Soul Clover. I played. Yeah. We played just one for an entire year. That's all right. we played. Yeah, and then we played Soul Clover for an entire year. Well, when we find mm-hmm. party games we like, we and then we're playing it. Green Team Wins for, for an entire yeah. year, right? Well, now we stick to it, but but we're like, I have to show this to everybody. Like yes. everybody I know that we I play games with this. has to play this with me. Yes, and that wasn't. And that, that wasn't, wasn't one, one that we did that. No, that one we played once, and it was. Yeah. Uh, next up is Next Station London and this one needs no introduction as we've talked about it so many fucking times on the show so instead I'll give it an outroduction so that's Next Station London <laughs> man do we love this game <laughs> seriously this is the flip and right from Blorange that has so much charm and wit and crunch in such a little itty bitty box it's that little flip and right game you're just I mean I don't even know why like I can't quantify in my brain out my mouth to you guys <laughs> like why it's so fun but it is so fun. Maybe it's just that you each have a different colored pencil and you're just like making these little lines you, that you, you don't think are going to go. The and then you pass the colored pencil. So Everybody the color gets pencil. to play in the yeah. colors and you see them all on there. And maybe I just drawing a line from a circle to a circle is fun. Yep. And then a triangle to a triangle and then figuring out like, oh man, how can I make this work? You don't want to <gasps> cross how. over lines. So you you got to leave streams. space and you got to make like these hard decisions. And every round plays out differently because yeah. you don't know what order those pink ones are going to yeah. come out in. And so if you like the first four could be those pink ones. You're like, fuck, I only got four turns this time. Mm-hmm. Or you could go the entire 10 card deck before, you know, and the last one is yeah. the last pink one. You play all 10 or however many cards there are. And yeah. what's cool is this game forces every single person to start and have a completely different looking board. Right. Where like you play a lot of flipping rights or rolling rights. In theory, I could just cheat off. Yeah, we do all the for, same oh, thing for the most part. Like, yeah, a lot of them, like the, like the really chance. good ones, like um, Three Sisters and Motor City, have done this thing where like you get an extra one if you're the roller or whatever, and it kind yeah. of changes things. Yeah. But in this one, we all have to start because we have different colored pencils at different spaces. Right. Right. So immediately on the first flip, we all are drawing different lines. Yeah. And what's even like so tense about that game is when you get to your third colored pencil and you're like. I can't go anywhere. <laughs> yeah. How did I get to a point yeah, what where I done? my pink pencil can draw nowhere? But then you'll also, the next round, you'll have a round where you're like, I just went to seven different Yeah, squares. how did I do that? Yeah. I'm going to score 40 points this round. Yeah. Oh, my God. And it's like the best fucking feeling. Yeah, and they ramp it up. There's like those little challenges that you can do that are everything. Oh, yeah, we never even points. play them. 
And then there's um We did one time with Jeff and I was like, we're never playing yeah. without these again. And, and then we, we played with the kids and I was like, yeah, we powers. have it again, but it's god, it's they're so good. Yeah, the colored yeah. pencil powers are great. It's just a it's a it's a great it's a great game. All right. So it we sounds it. like we the three of us might be unanimous here on what we what we what we so would Dorf like Romantic, to win. Yes. Dorf Romantic, London, fun, fun opinions, fun. and um yeah, next station London. All right, so why don't you start, Ryan? Tell us in the Spiel special. Okay, Spiel what special. You think? What do you think? What do you oh, want to okay. win? What the Spiel special? The Spiel special. The Spiel special. The I would like next station London to win the Spiel. Natalie, what would you like to win? I agree. What do you, yeah, what do you think? Would, I I I would like next station London yeah. to win. Ryan, what do you think is going to win? I I think next station London's going to win. Angly goo. I do. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to say the same thing. I'm going to be let down, and I think Dorf Romantics. Do you? Yeah. How come? I think it's just too hot. Really? Do you I think, think it's hot? Is it really hot? I thought so. I don't Maybe know. Maybe because people when know I, that. We were, I wondered We've that never too. heard of it, and everyone's like, you're dumb. You're stupid. Well, um, but everybody had heard of the video game, I think. Most people had heard of it because of the video it game. It could win because of that. Does it get help well because known? it's German? Yes. Does it get a little bit of home field advantage? I think Dorf Romantics going to win. <laughs> I think. Oh, you changed your mind. <laughs> Maybe you're right. Well, the fact, that it's, the fact that it's German. Does that uh, no, give I still home think, field advantage? I know. I, I don't still, know. I'm, I'm gonna. No, I'm gonna I'm stick gonna with go next station London. One <laughs> fun facts is not going. To no win. fucking no, shit. Yeah, fun I facts wins. So. This episode, we're just gonna bury this. episode. We're deleting it. Yeah, fact. it's gonna go one thirteen to one fifteen. <laughs> People, be like, what happened to one fourteen? Don't. <laughs> what are you talking questions. about? There's a yeah. It's one like, blew the other one away. Like we're not 13th, doing it. <laughs> it's like the thirteenth floor in Wayside School. Yeah, or in everything. Next up is the Kenner Spiel. Yes. And the honorable mentions for this one are much shorter. There's only two. Okay. One we just played called Mindbug. And I just got it. Yeah. Sweet. I bought it. Well, here's the thing. I bought that and I bought this little expansion. Yeah. And the expansion I bought, I clicked English, didn't come in English. <laughs> so yeah, we did fuck. have to like change it. Oh. Yeah, and I changed it to English, didn't come in English. But the, the main game did. What, so what language that. is it? I don't know. Something. It's it's, it's not German. It's, I don't think it's German. So you didn't pick that. No. Um, it might okay. have been fran- en français. It might have been a, oh, I want a bakery. I want a bakery. Yeah. Mm, bonjour tout uh, le monde. I'm not really totally sure. But in the other, so we love Mindbug. Mindbug was fantastic. Yep. Natalie's going to, I'm going to force her to play that Big with me. Big fan of that one. Uh, and the next one is a game I had not heard of called Council of Shadows. No, I believe it's an area majority card Still game. Haven't heard of it. Area majority card game sounds cool. Mm. Maybe I'm wrong. It's area majority. Maybe it's not just a card game. Who knows? Maybe we, not. Um, Maybe it's not a card game. Mindbug's we, we a card. Oh, Mindbug's the card game. Mindbug is the card game. <laughs> so fuck we don't that. Know anything about anything. Now for the main event. Get it. The nominees for the Kenner Spiel yep. are. Um. First up, let's talk about challengers okay just like dorf romantic i had never even heard of challengers when the nominees were announced last episode and so like a good and greedy little podcaster i bought that sucker right then for the (coughs) for all you for me for you (laughs) challengers is basically an auto battling card game in a tournament setting which is pretty interesting the game plays up to eight people and everyone gets a starting deck of the same cards and sits across from uh the other player so in an eight player game there are four games of two happening at the same time independently of one another in each of these games players are doing nothing more than revealing cards from their shuffled deck to capture the flag which really is the game's thematic way of saying i have the higher card until one of two things happens either someone runs their deck out of cards and doesn't have the flag or a little discard area, which is called the bench, is uh, completely full when you need to discard again. In either of those two situations, uh, the game ends, and um, you go to round two and do it all again against a different player. After seven rounds, the two people who have the highest scores play one final game for the title. Now, that sounds weird. You just reveal cards and watch what happens? Yes. Mm -hmm. The thing is, though, before every round, every player gets to choose one or two cards from huge decks with tons of different abilities. So the game is in crafting your deck throughout the tournament. Uh, So you're hoping that you've built a deck that has both high numbers capable of overtaking your opponent as well as multiple copies of good cards so as not to take up valuable spaces in those discard piles I was talking about. So things I liked. Challengers is really unique. I have not played a game like this before. An auto battler sounds really auto boring. And at first I thought it was. I was a bit frustrated that you just have no agency whatsoever. And it really all just depends on how the shuffle goes. And then as the game went on, I kind of began to craft my deck for the situation that I was presented in during the game. It started to open up and I went from whatever. I guess we'll just see. I'll just roll a six. And oh, you roll a five. How fun to. Okay. Let's see if the decisions I made crafting my deck were good choices and then tweak what was wrong or refine what was right. So the fun in this game is almost in the meta. 
and not in the actual game itself, which is really weird. Playing the game in the battles is cool and interesting and nice to see what works and what doesn't, but the game is in deciding which cards to take and imagining how it will play out against your opponent. I also really liked the tournament feel of it. That's something I haven't really seen in a game before and just had a bit of inherent excitement to it. But the things I didn't like. The playing the game part. <laughs> that's what I did like. Yeah. It was interesting. It was cool. And the meta aspect was nice. But I don't know that it was fun. It was more of a cool and interesting idea than a fun to play experience. And for that reason, I don't think it's likely to stick around. Though Natalie was saying she'd like to play it with more people to see if the fun was actually in uh, the meta like we think it might be where there's more people. Is it fun just going through the tournament and thinking about what deck combinations would be good with eight people? You know, constantly shuffling seats around and, and seeing how the games play. It's unique and interesting, that's for sure. Can I ask a question? Yeah. Do, do the decks carry over? Like, if I if Natalie, if I beat Natalie in the first yeah. game, do I get to take this deck to the next? Yeah, the deck that you play stays the same. You draw okay, cards so you and... You don't restart back to the no, beginning No, it's, it's your entire so deck you next. take throughout the entire tournament. So then you'll add more cards to it? Uh-huh. So then in the well, first round... Well, you add round, cards the same way you do in a two-player game. You just play different people. Yeah, but so... Yeah, but like you already have that deck with all the cards you got. So at the end of seven rounds with Natalie, more. I would have three, I would have six No, 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 no. You only play one round against Natalie. I know. The so game, then that deck, so when I go, now I go against you who won your first yep, game. Yep, you have the same deck. But except you, you get two more. cards. Yeah, you add cards the exact same way except you don't play each other. So, okay, you and Natalie play round one. <laughs> you know what, you, okay. Okay, let me, let me yeah. you can Natalie play round one with your deck. Yep. Then I, me and Dave play round one with our decks. Then once the rounds are over, that one round is over. Yep. All of us take those decks and add cards to it, just like you Wait, did. So you're saying you don't play yes. seven rounds. You play one round. You play seven rounds total. So gotcha with all the people. Yes. Okay. After so every you're round, the same you cards add that two you do cards in a two and then you go game. play against somebody else with that exact but, same deck. So you do the exact same just thing you did. People. You're just playing different people. Okay. okay. Every round. Okay, and you, you would only play it. Natalie in round one, and maybe then round four. You know, and then, okay, and then there'd be like random. Game. You just get the tr- you get a trophy at each game. Yes, each game gives you a trophy. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. So each mat that there is right. has a stack. of I trophies. thought okay, I thought it was more. It's not a bracket. No, essentially. Okay. No, no, no. I was, yeah, in my head, just, I was thinking bracket. I played Natalie, and then I would carry my winning deck to the next game, and then add cards to that. But that's okay. No, that's not, now yeah. I understand what you're saying. Right. It's almost like play you're playing a euchre tournament, and you're moving from table to table. You move table to table. Yeah, but you do take your you do you don't get yes. a brand new deck. You but still just, take your deck each round. But not throughout yeah, the yeah. whole tournament, you're building the deck that we built through our whole yes. Right. Got it. You got guys it. just did it. the exact same thing you would do in a normal game against only each other. Where right. after round one, you'd still grab you'd those cards, but you'd play players. me. Got yeah. it. Right, or another play the robot. Right, right. Um, Freaking robot. So if this sounds like something you might enjoy, then definitely give it a chance because I think it's really it is really a cool game. I just don't think I'll ever reach for it. Because it's not, it wasn't that fun. <laughs> it was cool. You know what? You know what comes to mind, Jeff? Do you remember the game by Friedman Fries? Um, what was it called? Four hundred eight. What the fuck was it called? Oh yeah, where there's a shitload of games. There's just like four hundred eight games in it. It's yeah, not called four hundred eight, oh. but what the fuck's it called? It's like two million. I want to look it up. Thirty-eight hundred. Just say it with confidence, and then four hundred eight. Like, it's called four hundred eight. It's not called four hundred eight. Anyway, Friedman <laughs> Fries designed the game, Natalie, and it's okay. called it's called four something. Yeah. Just looking it up, maybe. And maybe. so what this was, it was a game that had like 400 games inside of it. Mm-hmm. And so you would just pick like mechanisms. So you'd be like, okay, I'm going to play. Let's play game 212 today. You'd flip to 212 and you'd be like, okay, you're playing this mechanism with this mechanism, and this mechanism. And it would make a game and you'd play it. Okay. And that's fucking cool. Yeah. 400 fucking games. 504. 504. Five. Oh, yeah, yeah. 504 games in one box. And you're, but what I've heard a lot of the reviews are is this is fucking awesome. But it's not really fun. Yeah. None yeah. of the actual like combination. Cool. The concept's incredible, but none of the actual game. And the concept's cool because not only I think was it interesting, but they worked. Like they weren't. Yeah. They weren't like all. But they broken, weren't like fun games. But they, yeah, a lot of them were not very fun. So the game didn't really stick okay. around. So that's kind of that's almost how so I feel about challengers. Four okay games. Yeah, <laughs> that's almost how I feel yeah. about challengers. Like this was a really cool idea. I like the idea. I'm not sure that I really enjoyed it. What do you think, Natalie? Mm, yes. Um, so. The gameplay is mindless and therefore boring, I think. Ooh. Um, building your deck is kind of fun and deciding you think what... number one? <laughs> <laughs> building I mean, your deck... Spiel? Come and get your spiel down. <laughs> building the deck's fun and deciding if and what to eliminate from your deck is by far the most fun and interesting part. But to me, it's still like good, not great. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like you do that for like two seconds and then you spend, you know, 
a few minutes playing this game where you're not even playing. You're just flipping cards and you're like, is this number higher than this? Hopefully number? my yes, shuffle no. was better than because yours. Because you have no, there's nothing you <laughs> can do. You're just flipping the top card. That's all you can literally do. You're, yeah. There's no like, the only strategy is in building your deck, but what order they come out in, you have no idea. Could make everything completely useless. Yes. yes, exactly. You could get powers on cards and not ever have them work out. So I thought after playing this with Ryan, you know, let's see how this is as a tournament style with more people because maybe that's how it's meant to be played. It is. Um, and then when I, I just played it again with Jeff, but again, just two player. And I decided I don't think I care to, to try that. <laughs> oh, no. I, I think I decided it's not fun. Yeah. I mean, if we're just going to do what I did with Jeff and with you, but instead I just play with different people, but I'm doing the exact same thing, then why would that be more fun? Sure. It, to me, Your it would deck just is be the evolving same. the same from person exactly. to person. You're just refining I'm just it. playing a, against a different person's deck of cards. Yeah. yeah. So I didn't, I wasn't really a fan. Yeah. Okay. What about you, Jeff? Mm, it was just okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was weird. I had weird, I had weird feelings. <laughs> Because it started in the first round, I was like, this is not, no, this isn't fun. Like, because you both start with this shit deck, right? Like, yeah, yeah, nothing. One, one, like, one, okay. three, four, two. Next. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah. Great. Okay, and then you just go to the next round. And then as I grabbed the A cards, I started to read them, and I there was a glimmer of hope. I was like, yeah. this, okay, cards are cool. I picked up a cool, I picked up some Popeye the Sailor Man cards. Yep. I had some cool cards. Yep. I won, a, I won a couple. I was like, okay, got some cool cards. And then, like both of you said, Flipping over the cards is not that's not fun. No, no, because you don't do anything. You just fl- you just flip it there's over. No decision. And th- there's zero decision. It's not like I was trying to think throughout the game. How do you make this game a, a game, like a slightly better <laughs> right. or more fun? And I'm like, what, like, couldn't I have? Why can't I have three cards in my hand and then I play one? Right. Then you get to decide which one to play. Yeah, and then something. I can or the order of that was is, exactly what I was going to say. Right? I, it would be cool of, to see some, just a couple. I yeah. Mean, I don't. I don't want. I don't want. 30 because then, it, then you're trying to decision. sort out bullshit but if there's like or even yeah give me three cards in my hand and then when it's my turn to try to take the flag from you when i'm the attacker i play one or i play up to a my and then i draw back to three yeah and again i i'm i, I don't design the game i'm sure that doesn't work right or they yeah. figured it out but like right. the the random card flipping seemed oh and then lazy. the little Just, token yeah. i don't know the token like, that you put back and forth the flag oh, token that's Just to say like who's like the person who's like Winning at the moment. Who has a higher card? All you're literally doing is flipping it back and forth. But you have to flip it over because it has a different yeah, color. You it's like, what's the point? It if you really want, you don't to. even need it at all because um, yeah, you, you know, know. <laughs> there's only two of you. Yeah, you know. Yeah, true. The, the, turn- <laughs> the tournament thing seems cool. my turn, your turn, my turn, your turn. You don't yeah. need a, a token to yeah, tell you that's that. That's a good point. <laughs> it's like, would it be cool in? I don't know. Would it be cool in a big event? Like, is this an event Yeah, that's game? what I kind of wondered yeah. after the I think first so. time, but I think I didn't know enough, and now that I Where, know more, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas I, I I'm playing Natalie, and she gets four good draws in a row. She's going to win. Like, the game is – she's going to win, right? But if, I, if I'm if i moving around and I'm, I'm playing every once in a while – like, if her deck is just better than mine, maybe I'm glad I don't have to play her all the time mm-hmm. and I get to move. But, again, it's not that her deck is better. It's that her shuffle is better. Yeah. Right. I don't know. Could be creating, their deck is better, I guess. It could be, but not every time. Yeah. yeah. We're like, I, I think in a game like Magic or something, when you go and you craft a deck, if it's better, you're probably going to win. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The shuffle doesn't isn't going to matter. You're probably going to win. Yeah. But this game, it's, I feel like the shuffle's going to win. Well, because Magic, of the time. you get to draw cards and decide what to play. Yeah. So <laughs> I, I think the game is, I think that's what's weird about it, is the game is not in the play. I think the game is in the tournament feel. That's my guess. And the building. And the Probably. building of the decks. I think that's the... I, I, I think the playing is... Uh, is and ancillary. the eliminating of cards from your deck, which is... That is unusual. You don't usually get to do that. Yeah, just, with no like, cost. Because you can like just eliminate as many as you want. Yeah. You Whatever could. ones you yeah. want. I may, yeah, maybe that's fun. Maybe there's like... And I thought there could be, be some interesting be strategy to that, but at the same time, it's totally. still not fun enough to want to like figure that out. We don't get it. Whatever it is, <laughs> yeah. we don't, the three of us don't get it. Yeah. That's what... I'm not sure. I think I might get it, but I don't. I don't yeah, know. I, I okay. might want to walk by an event. Like if they're running Gen Con events, maybe I just want to walk by it and see if people are enjoying so it. So I watched mm-hmm. um, I watched Game Night, Board Game Geeks Game Night okay. play this. They made it look really fun. They did? Yeah. Because they were like, 
They might have been lying, <laughs> sure. but they were like flipping the cards, like, "Oh yeah, you got it. Oh no, oh I got. The, oh I had to play two cards. But oh, okay, no, well, they're putting on like a but it's show. Like what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. It might, but the, but I was watching that and I was like, "Oh, that looks kind of fun." Yeah. And then we played it and I was like, "No, yeah, <laughs> no. Well, even like you know what else kind of sounds annoying. So like you <laughs> sounds you, annoying. <laughs> you put cards in your deck and then you do the little play thing against the other person, which takes I don't know three minutes, right? Four minutes, maybe. So then every three to four minutes, you're just like getting up and moving chairs to yes. play someone else. Yes. Like that yeah, even that sounds annoying. Be. So I agree that sounds annoying. I read, I read through the comments. A lot of people that didn't like the game, the one thing they liked was, was moving partners. seats. <laughs> they were like, it's kind of fun to get up and switch seats. And I was like, that sounds terrible. I don't want to switch seats. I want to be in this you're seat. Like, I like my chair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my chair. My chair is good. So uh, that's Challengers. Yep. Uh, next up is Iki. Now, Iki came out back in 1972 with the original printing of Silo <laughs> back before elephants were discovered. And Natalie and I played the second edition of the game. Yeah, which is pretty fucking ridiculous that a game that already has multiple editions can be nominated for Game of the Year. <laughs> yeah, that's a little silly. So that is just the came second out. Second edition nominated. Yeah, I think the second okay. edition is the one nominated too. I mean, this thing was originally released in 2015. For fuck's sake, almost an entire decade later, and it gets nominated <laughs> for Game of the Year 2022. Congratulations! I, I get that it just came out in Germany. And I'm going to go on this rant again. But knowing that this is on the world stage, games like this and QE that I talked about a bit ago have been out in the world for several years should probably be exempt from this list, regardless of whether or not it had an official release in Germany, because people in Germany have been playing these games for years. There's no way you're going to tell me that no one, um, no one in Germany has played uh, QE or Iki. There's no fucking way. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Anyhow, Iki is a good game. <laughs> Medium weight Rondell Euro game that Natalie liked a bit more than me and ultimately went out the door. I'm not going to talk about it much more than that as I personally don't feel like it should even qualify for this fucking award. Did, did you sure. didn't even play Iki? Did you? I didn't is this the one it, that you haven't played? But based on your description, I would feel like I would be closer to liking it. Like oh yeah, for sure. I think you would like it a lot. Yeah. I think and it I falls into think- a great weight for like myself and for Devin and replayability. Yeah. I think I would like it. I think you would too. Yeah. Um, Natalie, do you have any thoughts on Iki? Uh, I just had to look it up because I didn't remember it. And then yep. once I looked it up, I was like, oh, yeah, I remember it kind of. And I remember I liked it, but literally I can't remember like any detail more than that. Normally, I would blame you. Fair. I don't blame you this time. <laughs> One, because yeah. we played it a long time ago and just the once. So I don't yeah, blame you for not right. remembering I this I remember there was like different like, like, um stations you can move to or something yes, that's yeah, right next station around, around a rondel yeah, yeah. London. But, next station, next station. Yeah. but i don't remember like what kind of things they were like i just don't remember it, remember so. you could get the fish that's fine you could get the fish oh fish there was fish no i don't well that brings me now to the most recent installment of the game casters essential planet unknown which is the fucking star of this entire list. Uh, spoiler, the polyomino Lazy Susan <laughs> underproduced oddly shaped magical game of filling up a planet and ascending tracks while clearing up meteorites is going to be a bit tough for people to vote for. As simply put, nobody can find this damn game. Mm, I'm very lucky yeah, that I kickstarted this thing. I was stunned. It's nowhere. I was shocked that this that this was nominated. Yeah. I'm really, really happy it is. That must mean the people but who I do am, have it love it, right? It totally means that. I am shocked. I don't know anything about Adam's Apple's games. I think it's first. This is their first. Did game. they pump this shit out in Europe? Is it every? Is it there? It must be everywhere can, over there. Can our I, European listeners report back? There's and say that thirty you can find copies it in the U.S. at, at European <laughs> Target. Like this I, you game know. is as mythical and legendary as a female orgasm. Just kidding. Both of these things are easy <laughs> to find if you simply know where to lick. Look. Oh my god. <laughs> so, what do you guys think of Planet Unknown? Oh, we love it. You do? I How mean, do we know? I love it. Yeah. What do you think, John? I, I love like it. Too. So, um, I have some complaints about it. Yeah. Like the box, the box, yeah. and that fucking Susan. But does that pre- should so that prevent lazy. it from winning the? No, the sh- no. <laughs> it's the best polyomino actually, game I've ever played. Yeah, we same. just played it on Saturday at the game day. We were just talking we sure did about. with the measles. I hadn't played yeah, it before, and I brought it, and I was ready to play it. Dave and Patty wanted to drop a yeah. hat, sure. and it's it's just it's, it's so game. good, and, and it's, it's a got, good weight. Yeah, it, it, it's good and time. that's a game that plays enough people and <laughs> should play that many people or can play that many people. <laughs> well yeah. so, um and it has like clearly, different player boards and and you can mix and match the like tracks and the planets. right and sometimes they're not necessarily balanced but and the people finding the game now if it. you're finding it you're not finding it because you don't have the extra game boards True. there are some planets that you don't have which i owe oh. dan the burrito man he wants a couple pictures of the planet so he can like look at them he's like i want to see them i'm like and then yeah, i keep forgetting because he has the him. he has the retail um, version but yeah and, and sometimes but i the fact that they can be matched up and that there's the corporations and the, the um, planets. planets, it that's what makes the game for me. Just I want to play it all the well, time because right, like you want to try every, every combination. Yeah. If it was if it was just the regular board and 
the regular tracks, I'd be like, okay, I play it a handful of times and fine. Or if, even if it was just the regular map and variable corporations, there's a handful more times. But now it's like Natalie had this weird planet where she can't put anything in the middle. You've right. got to slide shit in like Tetris pieces. Yep. It just, mm-hmm. it, but like you can't slide in like Tetris pieces, but you can't put your uh, rover on certain spots because right. your tracks because make the, the rules tracks different. Make, yep. yeah. yeah, that that causes some goofy rules. What comes first, oh, there's what definitely comes second. Imbalance. There's imbalance there's definitely. and just stuff, but I don't give a shit. Who fucking yeah. cares? It's, it's great. It's more so fun great. than it's like so great. winning is just like figuring out the challenge of the board that you're I, playing. I think winning is playing the fucking game at all because yeah. you're just going it's up those fun, tracks. There, what is so... There's You go up tracks in a million games. Why is it so fun in this one? Yeah, I don't... And I don't know. Someone... Maybe it wasn't in our Discord. Maybe they were too scared to put it. Maybe it was in the Snobs Discord or something. Someone was like, I don't... I played Planet Unknown and I don't get it. I was like, oh. Oh, really? I get it. and I like it. Most Talk people do. Uh, it's not made for the <laughs> speed that kind of spiel. Yeah. You we'll fuck. help you get it. Yeah, we'll help you get it. Yeah. Um, so we all clearly think, or we all clearly want Planet Unknown to win the, the Kenner Correct. Spiel. Do I we think the Kenner, the Kenner Spiel winner will be Planet Unknown? Absolutely not. What do you? Th- okay, I don't Jeff, think start it'll with be you. Challengers. I think it's going to be Challengers. You really? Do? Yeah. Is a it popular? People, here, yeah, here's what popular. I think. Why? Planet He's Unknown. Not not, <laughs> <laughs> Planet Unknown being not as accessible in terms of finding it. Right. I think that Iki, hurts it. I think yeah. Iki is going to be too heavy. To win this award. Yeah, I agree. And I think Challengers is sadly going to win this. Oh, damn. Damn, that's a bummer. I'm going to go and I'm going to stake it all and say Planet Unknown's going to win. I don't think it deserves to win or be nominated. I actually think Jeff's right. Challengers. I I think think that's, I think Planet Unknown not being available hurts hurts it a lot. Although it is nominated. It's available enough to get nominated. There's a, there's a a committee. committee. Yeah. Right. There's a committee or a panel of people, I think. Yeah. I don't know from what. Do you know know what it's based on? Planet Unknown. It's like a space game. No. <laughs> it's got space on the front. Uh, I, like the nominations. I'm and the sure winners. there's some sort of rubric that they go through, um, okay. or they have have big discussions or whatnot. I don't know if it's like the Academy. I have Awards, no they clue. All submit things. I don't know. Right. The winners. I assume if like if it's P, if it's a committee, and I'm assuming they all maybe are required to play the games. I hope so. Oh my God, I hope so. <laughs> well, then so. that's that true. gives You're Planet right. Unknown more of a chance, right? True. Because right. maybe Does the committee that... is going to not. It does, maybe it doesn't matter that a bunch of people can't get it a if point. a committee who has all played it are voting. Are you going to switch to Planet Unknown? Yeah, good. Um, no, I'm not. Um, I, I still think Challengers is going to win. The jury, it's a jury. The Ooh. jury consists of critics from German-speaking countries. Okay. <laughs> all right, that's a few. <laughs> okay, so that's who's going right. yeah, to vote on the, the Spiel des Jahres. I think yeah. Planet Unknown should win. Well, I think we all do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I'm going to just go on a limb and say I think it will. Okay. Natalie? <sighs> I don't know. Come on, Natalie. Just Come on. No. I mean, I want it Planet Unknown to win. What do I think will win? I have no idea. Let's just say Planet Unknown. Jeff, yeah. you said you think Challengers. Yeah, I think Challengers. Oh, fuck. Jeff All right, went well, against us on both. On both. both. He, yeah, he was definitely going against us. He was yeah. like, I was going to pick Planet Unknown, like, but the fucking two of you did. Just, even like, though he said it first. Let's mix it up. <laughs> even though he said it first. Yeah. <laughs> If you're looking to support the show, maybe consider flushing your money down the Gamecaster's toilet by way of our Patreon page. There are four different tiers which will get you access to behind-the-scenes content, exclusive content, or content ahead of time. You will also get swag that nobody else has access to and just the opportunity to help out and support a podcast which you sometimes listen to. We have amazing patrons. Thank you so much for your support, guys. If you'd like to donate to help us pay for things like hosting fees and that blank that Jeff's had his eye on, please head on over to patreon.com forward slash the Gamecasters to help out. The Gateway Network is now defunct, but our merchandise isn't. If you're looking to get some great Gamecasters or Mad Board Gamer gear, head on over to thegatewaynetwork.com forward slash store and you'll find that there. We have also partnered up with Tim of Sir Meeple, who is creating custom Gamecasters designs for us. So you can go to sirmeeple.com, click the pull down under creators and find us there under board game podcasts. More stuff will be added frequently and what a great way to support two creators at the same time. A dream for most of us. Am I right, Natalie? So once again, that's sirmeeple.com. You click the pull down under creators and find us under Board Game Podcasts. Possibly the best way to interact with all of us, though, is via our Discord server. If you go to the Gamecasters Instagram page, you can check out our link tree in our bio to get access to our server. It's a great way to engage with all three of us on a daily basis, as well as meet a bunch of like-minded, awesome people. So check out our Discord server. It's once again time for us to take a breather while you do all the work in today's Instagram inbox. And now it's time for the Instagram inbox. 
with the Mad Board Gamer. It's the Imboxa time. <laughs> Imboxa. With the Mad ah, Board Gamer. <laughs> the Imboxa. Okay, last episode, do you remember what we did? Yeah, this, the this or, or that. that. Yeah, so I asked a bunch of questions to everyone and found out that people liked Friends better than Seinfeld in the office. <laughs> Boo. Um, and I was sitting around last night going, why not have people send us this or that, and then we can talk about them. Ooh. Ooh. So here's what we got. Okay. This is from all over the place. If I miss your name, oopsies, but maybe we'll go and maybe we're like moving. Sure. Right? Yeah. Let's move. Totally. Okay. Sarah V over on, uh, what's it called? Uh, Discord. I heard of that. Lance. Okay. Um, it's Lance. Yep. Would you rather, <laughs> now this is, this is okay, <laughs> do the first 10 minutes of a blowjob or the last 10 seconds of a blowjob? <laughs> Oh, ten, geez. 10, yeah, minutes, ten is minutes is a long time. That is a ten long minutes. beager. 10 minutes is a long time. 10 seconds, not so long. But, but you get the finale. But someone here has. Is. Here it is. Yeah, someone's yep. here it is. Here it oh, is. Oh, Lance. You're but here, here it is. Lance. Well, here's the thing, Natalie. Mm. You you have done the whole 10 minutes I know minutes my answer, but I don't want to say this on here. <laughs> say it. What would you rather do? Last 10 Last seconds. 10 is what Natalie Fuck, what are you going to say? I Which mean. one's gayer? <laughs> Gayer. I'll do the gayer one. Um, I think I, I'm just going to go 10. I'm going to go 10 seconds. I'm going to say the last All 10. All right. I'll contrary it and say I'll do the first 10 minutes. Ten I don't want to shut the mouth. 10 minutes is so long. It's a long time. A long That's time. a long, a long time. time for. Well, we're getting to know each other. Donger in your mouth. We're getting to know hey, each dudes other. know what dudes like. Yeah. Ten, you know? Exactly. Um, <laughs> well, I'm doing it badly if it's been 10 minutes and nothing's ten happened. 10 minutes. Yeah. 10 minutes is a long time. Time. Maybe long time to have a long time. Out of the three of us, Jeff is the most generous BJ giver. <laughs> yeah. 10 seconds and poof, just, yeah, We just, just want to be done. <laughs> well, I, 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 I picture it as Ryan no, me. starts. Jeff and, and, does, Jeff and you just want to be done. Oh, with it. sorry, sorry. Yeah. You're so the most generous. Ryan BJ starts yeah. for 10 minutes sorry. and then I, I sit on and the sidelines and wait. Takes it, yeah, and, and, then he, it. And, and then the guy's like, oh, I'm 10 seconds away. And then Ryan's like, tag Jeff, me get in, man. Hold on. Hold on, guy. Let Jeff come over. Wait, wait, wait. Red Rover, Red Rover. Yep. And then I jump on. You're out. You're in. Yeah. That's great. Well, let's move on. Okay, start off great. Thanks, Lance. From Gabby. From the snobbers. Okay. The okay. snobbers. Would you rather. Yes. So kind of this or that. Shit, would you rather. Same kind of thing. Know. To watch only movies made up until this point or only movies made after this point. So yet to be made movies. Fuck. I wouldn't be able to watch everything everywhere all at once ever again if I chose uh, from this point onward. I think there's onward. plenty of I'm gonna great go, movies up until this point. I'm going to go up until this point. Nothing. I'm going to see nothing ever new made ever. Yeah. So I I'm think I agree with, with that. It's hard because Especially Cult of the New You just don't know. know. Applies. But these Could days, be. Yeah. It's hard. they're not putting out a ton of great movies. Everything Everywhere All at Once came out last year. That's like the best movie I've ever seen. Yeah, but, but that's now you wouldn't be able to see it ever point. again. Well, so my point with that is the next Everything Everywhere All at Once it's is going to come out soon. And yeah. everyone yeah. is going to be What's like, last... this is the best movie that's ever happened. Ever, okay. guys. Ever. I th- and we and can't, can't watch it. The, the but then last... I couldn't watch Lord of the Rings again. Nope. I think the last movie you liked as much as that was probably Infinity War, and how many years was between that? That came out in what, 2016? So six years? Yeah, so what, every six years? I'm saying really movies good that movie? are already made. I'm sticking or with just fine. Watch, Yeah, I agree. You know? I'll, fine, you guys no, talk you me into it. You just I guess talk I don't have to it, convince Natalie. you because you it's your own to. opinion, but... That's Natalie that's right. feels, and I agree, <laughs> yeah, that I, I want to pick that's every right, movie that's, that's right. been made. Nestor said uh, Stephen King or King's Hawaiian Bread. Ooh, King's Ooh. Hawaiian bread. Hawaiian bread. For sure. I'm going with Hawaiian bread. King's yeah. Hawaiian bread. All, books. Come Jeff, on, book reader. I gotta go Jeff, King's all Hawaiian day, bread. All, all day. King's Hawaiian son. bread's really good. All all day. Day. Put some fucking ham and cheese on that shit. Mm, put it in the stove. <sighs> Girl pizza or boy pizza? Boy pizza. Boy pizza. Boy Girl pizza. pizza boy pizza. <laughs> two to one. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Two, one, two boys. Sorry, that was rude. Competition. <laughs> two boys, we win, one Natalie. We win. <laughs> um, Mario Kart or Mario Party? Two boys, one Natalie. Sounds like a video I want to watch. Mario Kart. What was it? Mario Kart or what? Mario Party. Mario Kart. Mario All day. Kart. Mario Kart. All day. Yeah, Mario Party, and you play like 400 turns, and then it's like a fucking game. Yeah, no. And double, there's some of the pass. games that I am i don't like care for them. On the N64, Peach's Birthday Cake 50 turns was what we would do all the time, and it was fun. But I would always rather play Mario Kart. Yeah. yeah. I agree. Mario Kart, I'm not very good at. Ryan just gets coins all day. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan and, always But it's still fun. It's still fun. The Board Welder on Instagram. Uh, so I'm back on Instagram now here, so this is where I might miss some people. Some people gave me a bunch, so I'm just going to kind of might them say, off. yeah. Um, Skechers. Or New Balance, the Battle of the Dad Shoes. Mm. Ooh. 
I like Skechers. Skechers. I'll go the other way. I'll say New Balance. Okay. I'll go with the Seinfeld. New yeah, New <laughs> Balance are totally... <laughs> like old well, That's what I think of. When, when I think of dad shoe, I think of New Balance. Yeah. The giant N yeah. on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Shelly said, roll and write or polyomino? Polyomino. Mm. Oh, fuck. Yeah, poly... Oh, fuck. I'm going to say... Poly- I'm, fuck. I'm going to say roll and write because say... the only polyomino game I want to play all the time is Planet Unknown. I'll say po- fuck. Poly fuck. I think I'm going to say... Fucky Amino. I'm going to say roll and write. Roll and fuck. Roll and poly tough, Amino. but I'm going to say roll and write. Fucky okay. Amino. Fuck. I, well, hold on. I don't know. I'll say poly... Just say it. Polyamory. You're obsessed with... Oh, my God. <laughs> Can I just say that? Yeah, I'm not going to... I'm going to avoid this question yeah. and say polyamory. Okay. Sam says, uh, lap dance at a CD strip club. Okay. Or people singing happy birthday to you in public. Ooh. Man, she, those are In parentheses, bad. she wrote free cake. I'm taking the free cake. Oh, yeah. Okay, boom. Yeah. Happy birthday. Oh. Sing, I'm like CD. Sing to CD me. CD strip club. CD. Yeah. CD is what happens when Jeff does the last 10 seconds of a blowjob. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here come my seeds. Here come my seed. I'll do the I'm free seeding. cake. No, I like seeds. I'm seeding. Here's my yeah, seeds. Here's my seeds. <laughs> All of them. Individual seeds. <laughs> Pass out. And, oh, the, and the happy so birthday singing serious. will probably last less time than the well. That's only yeah. Well, you do the first ten minutes of a lap. The first ten minutes of a lap dance or the last ten seconds of a happy birthday song. Yeah. <laughs> Plurpy, salty snacks or fruity sweets? Salty snacks all day. Salty. Mm. Salty fruity, snacks. Fruity sweets. Fruity sweets. Uh yeah, salty snacks. Give me an example of a fruity sweet. Yeah, I know. Skittles. Just saying, like how, about, how about salty or sweet? Yeah. Oh. Well, how about he's like that. Salty. If you. God, I do. Like I could. Su- I do like candy. I like you know sweet. I agree with you. I like sweets, but I. What do I crave? Ninety percent of the time, I crave. I crave say, like salty stuff. Yeah, I think I do too. Although, if it was just sweets, God, never having ice cream again might be the. I, know. I don't well, know if no, I could it's do more that. More like, what do you prefer? Okay, it's that. what I prefer. It's not saying it's would you salty. never ha- eat this again or never. Fine, fine, make yeah. it less interesting. C.P. Wilson <laughs> followed up almost minutes after Plurpy and said, "Salty or sweet?" Oh, <laughs> I'll go sweet this time. Well, you um, guys both said the last ten I'll seconds, go, which is salty. Yeah. So I'll go to the other one. He'll, he has more. Um, late night or early morning? Late night. Mm. Late night. I'm a, I'm a night um, I would like prefer to be up late at night than early in the morning. So I will say that. You know. I used but to what is that. my life? My life is early bedtime and early morning, which is early morning yeah. because I have to get up with children. Now that Natalie's man. a coffee girl, she's yep. saying she likes I used morning to time. think that. But do you enjoy the morning, Jeff? What do you mean you're a, no. Um, I don't mind the morning, but I don't want it. Like, I don't want my morning to be 5.30 like, say it's when Friday, my alarm goes Say it's up. Friday night, okay? And you have the weekend in front of you. The kids are at your mom's for the whole weekend. You have nothing to do. Yeah, late nights. Are you better. staying up late yeah. or are you getting up early and doing stuff? No, I'm probably I'm probably staying up later. Okay. Yeah. Um, why are you, what is this, your, your okay. coffee girl? I have She's a never coffee girl. drank coffee in my whole life until a couple months ago, and now I drink it. And let me You're just like tell a basic, you. Like a basic bean. No, it's not <laughs> even that. Because, like, I honestly, like... Soy latte. The, to- the taste is, like, fine, you know? No, it's not. Are but we I talking about coffee or coffee. seeds? Or the last 10 seconds of seeds. But <laughs> what it has done for my life, it's, like, literally changed my life. <laughs> It's true. She used to be a zombie in the morning. You know what I mean? Like I one had, of those people that was I like, I can't so fucking get up. I hate everything. Trouble getting up in the morning where like I literally Why? couldn't. My just head. Get up. No, it wasn't Dude. even just that. I said that to Devin all the time. Devin hits her a snooze button like 500 fucking. Oh my God. Me and Jeff are the same bed. person. Like, How is the? I think he's the only other person in the world that's like me because I'm the same way. I just like, I, I, I'm just like, I am get awake. Out of bed. Right. Yeah. I'm just awake now no, because I have to get out of bed. But that's the thing. I, I can get out of bed if I have to get out of bed, but my brain is Grog. foggy yeah. for literally two hours. It's like probably until like 10 in the morning before I like am actually like, Coherent okay, and, like yeah. I was talking to my sister and because we were going to do something and I was like, can we just not do it in the morning? And she was like, I get the most done in the morning. And I'm like, I can't do a thing until like after lunch, <laughs> right. you know? And so now that I started drinking coffee, it has like almost like added four hours onto my day every it's day, true. which is and all of a sudden I'm like awake. I'm happier. I'm not like grumpy. Doing it in the morning. Like oh, morning sex is it is like, It's so crazy how it's like changed me. The other morning. I give it 50% coffee, 50% Ryan's wiener in the morning. <laughs> yeah. 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 Ready Here's for my wiener? Here it is. Here's so my seeds. Here's my just, seeds. My point is just recently, I'm going to say a morning. Wow. Yeah. Night owl for me. I, I like doing stuff at night. Okay. I like the dark I like sleeping quiet. sleeping at night. C.B. Wilson, boobs or butt? Butt. Butt. Ooh. Listen, Natalie, I guess listen. yours is uh, dick. dick or butt. Dick or butthole. No, I want to pick from boobs or Okay, butt. then pick boobs butthole or butt. Or 
What what hole or penis hole? What hole? <laughs> Which hole do you prefer? I'm gonna Gross. pick boobs. Listen, okay. I like I like boobs. Okay, I like boobs. Yeah, but I like a both butt. Of them. I know you are but a butt. A butt but I'm a butt. I've been butt. a yeah. I'm a butt. But I might guy. be more of an upper thigh guy than a boob. An guy. upper thigh guy. You're it's the, not like you're butt the, is one, boobs the, is two. Uh, bottom back quadrant. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. I like upper thigh, yeah. butt. That whole region. That region I like, is a good I think one. better than boobs. Yep. All right. CP Wilson has more. <laughs> a couple of big heavy games. Or okay, a lot. That's not what I word I <laughs> yeah, no, it's, <laughs> this is more game A couple of big heavy games. <laughs> okay. Or. Smaller, quick, lighter games. Smaller, quick, lighter games. Yeah, smaller. Now quick, lighter I love games. big, heavy games. This is the the in the moment thing. Yeah, I true. Think most of the no, time, right. I'm gonna pick the smaller, quick, lighter games. Even though I do still like. I'm gonna go with a couple games. big, heavy games. But but Natalie, let me ask you, you. So you think you're you're gonna pick that more often? Is that what you want to play, or are you just like it's easier and we can get at the table? Yes. We're still playing games. So what would you rather play? What do you mean? A couple big heavy games oh. or a bunch of light. So you have games. four. Let's light. say you have four hours. Let's say you have six hours. You already know how to play the games. The yeah. rules are already read yep. to Would you. Would you rather play you know. three heavy games or ten light quick yeah. games? Because you and these enjoy are, heavy games. All of these games are games that you 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 like. I feel or find like good. I really like more light games than yeah. I like. Right now, that's where you are. Yeah. In your ebb and like, flow. There's, like, there's like a handful of heavy games that I love. But most of the other ones, I could take or leave. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, if it's, like, Underwater Cities and Castle Burgundy, which I guess not that No, heavy. it's not heavy at all. Okay, well, Underwater Cities and Pulsar heavy. and, I don't know, whatever. I just think of Vital Lacerda. Or, That's what I think of. Sure. Oh, you just Darwin, do Anbar, Liz, Liz Boa, and Gallerist. Then 100% light games, if it's that. Okay, like, I like heavy, Anbar I'm, stuff, I'm saying but, heavy games, yeah. I think um, light for I me right now. I'm, like, like Jeff said, in the right now, for me, lighter games are what I yeah, want to Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this is a this is a whole bunch. Minis, cardboard standees, wooden meeples, or acrylic standees. Minis, minis, cardboard, cardboard, so standees. cardboard standees, no, acrylic standees, yes, or wooden meeples. Wooden. Oh, I see. Just to kind of oh. like your meeples, yeah, yeah, like just your, a meeple. I'm gonna say Ooh. minis. I am. Hmm. I've been really liking I might the say acrylic, acrylic standees. The acrylic standees have been really cool lately. Here's why I they're like colorful. them. Yeah, they're colorful. You don't have to, like, you don't have to paint them, and they're. The, the only thing I guess you you lose is the three dimensional aspect. Yeah, because when they're yeah. sideways, they look stupid. Yeah, yeah, they don't look good unless you're yeah. looking at them straight on. So for that reason, I, I like, like minis. Three D. But I like the idea yeah. of someone else painting them. Yeah, yeah. it's already <laughs> you see how beautiful and it looks beautiful. Is, yeah, painted mini. I don't think anything beats that. Right. Um, Prelude says, "Okay, so here's a, he sent me a message and was like." He was like, never replay a game or only play a game once. And then he's like, oh shit, that's the same thing. But he's like, you know what I mean, right? So, you know what I mean? So, I think it's, I think the question is. That's hilarious. That's so yeah. good. That is so good. Who is this? Um, Prelude. That's but good. But he, I, I think what. That's so good. Um, I think it's, I, I, haven't, I haven't talked to this, this person a ton oh, on shit, Instagram. A, um, but so, good. I think what they meant is. Um, Never replay a game or only like play the only same play game. The same only play the same game. game. Oh, yeah, yeah the same game over never and over. Or never game. Game. Yeah, I'm gonna play the same. I'm gonna go with my movie answer and play the games that I already have over and over again. Wait, I thought it was a play right? only one game. Is it? Yeah, is it play only one game over and over, or, only or the never play a game more played. than once? That's kind of what I I thought it was. Whatever. Let's move on. Um, <laughs> we don't know. I'm still confused. I, I'm, still I'm still gonna confused. answer it. Never play okay. a game more than once, or okay. only play one game over and over and over and over again. Oh, well, I'm gonna go with never play a game more than once. Yes, agreed. Yeah. I call to the new. I would rather. I I like the idea of I'll play a game, then I can move on. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Yep. JR sketches off Sega or Nintendo? Nintendo. Nintendo, I agree. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Guy mm. gulp of wine. Well. Sorry, I didn't expect it to go so fast. Yeah, I guess Nintendo. I would say, I, I would have said Sega because that's like all I played when I was a kid, but now I've played. Uh, uh -oh. I guess Nintendo. 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 Mick Dave Mick, Marvel or DC? Marvel. 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 They're just better at making movies. Well, I, I like, like I, like, I just like the Marvel characters better. Characters, well, yeah. because they've made them better. Yeah, but I liked Mar if it, before the the MCU was even a thing, I would have said Marvel. Oh, I'm only basing it on the movies. <laughs> yeah, not me. As no most way. people, I think. Ec I, I basing it on. I, 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 I love X Men. Care about. I love all of this. I love Batman. Yeah, I love. I like Batman too. I didn't give a shit about superheroes. But I thought Wolverine was so much cooler than anything DC's ever done. <laughs> Well, yeah, because well, they you put him in mean? the real world. He's so that was yeah. a game changer. DC put their things in different worlds. 
Marvel put everybody in on Earth. It's a game changer. Star Wars or Star Trek? I don't give a shit. Star Wars. I'm not Star even Wars. Them, I don't give a shit. You don't Just, like Star Wars? I just don't, I don't know care Star Trek. You don't pick, care? Pick Star Wars all, all day. All day. Star Trek I've just is, never seen Star Trek before. Star Trek is fine. I, says, I never got the comparison other than the fact that there are two words with star. Right. And they're about space. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But that, uh, okay, then, like. then in that case, I pick Battlestar Galactica. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Is one a TV show and one's a movie? What? They're all everything. Star, Star Trek and Star Wars. You're right. Star Wars started I mean, as movies. Star Wars has and TV Star shows. Trek started as a TV show. But like before the com- the com- when the comparisons were happening, there was no TV shows with Star Wars. Correct. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that makes no sense. Uh, Dave McCown also says miniatures or poker chips, which I almost want to change this to metal coins or poker chips. Miniatures, miniatures? or poker chips. I'm going to change it. Maybe he's Mick Dave Mick. I'm changing it. Metal yeah, coins or poker chips as currency in a game. I can change whatever I fucking want. This is my segment. Uh, I'll change whatever I want. Poker chips. I'm going with metal coin. I know you love the metal coin. Metal coiner. I love shuffling, so I could just shuffle. Yeah, the you're, poker a chips. Shuffler. <laughs> you're a little shuffler. I'd say shuffler. Did that not you? sound derogatory? Yeah, you're a little shuffler. You're a little shuffler. I do shuffle like you shuffle, poker chips, bitch. but as far as currency in a game, I'm going to say metal coin. Yeah, you are. Dice or cards. Dice. Oh. Dice. I'm going with dice. Uh, dice are inherently yeah, fun dice. to roll. It's funny we all say that because we're not randomness people typically. I know. I just, you know but, what I mean? But dice are just cool. Right. Dice are more we, maybe fun. Maybe we like card games better, well, no but we like handling dice yeah, better. Yeah, it wasn't. Yeah, so there was no take context. It however, yeah. Last one from Dave. Co-op or competitive? Co-op. Mm-hmm. I know. I'm, I'm, I know. I'm Co-op, weird. yeah. I'll go competitive. Sure. It's more of my like Euro-y gamey. Yeah. Most yeah. Of uh, Janelle sent a whole bunch. Uh, this is now a roll and write or flip and write. Flip and write. I've, been, I've just is, been loving all the flipping rights. I, I'm going to say flipping right too, but two seconds ago, I just picked dice over cards. Yeah, <laughs> I know. So I'm going to no say, context. I'm going to say flipping right because yeah, the, the flipping right. I think I think next station London. I think Hadrian's Wall. Oh. Yeah, you know, but like Three Sisters is great. Motor City was great. Great. Yeah, I know. Damn. Damn. I'm going. I'm going flipping right though. Yeah, Allie, same. what do you got? Mm, I'll just say flipping right. All right, Janelle's got a good one. Also, really nice water bottle. That doesn't Ooh. fit in any cup holder, oh, I, I have <laughs> one right or a really shitty one that fits into all cup holders. Really nice water bottle that doesn't uh, fit into cup holders. Yeah, same. Only because we are we are uh, at home ninety nine percent of the time, so we don't need it. I mean, I wouldn't say it's really nice, but I have a big water bottle that doesn't fit in any cup holders, which is and not I still a use it like ninety percent of the time. Stanley no, user. it's from Costco. <laughs> Costco is Stanley <laughs> like a, a oh yeah, that's the new. That's I the wanted new, a Stanley, that's the new Yeti. but. It, no. They're freaking expensive. It's like seventy dollars. They're very expensive. They're what? like forty. It's like For a forty a water ounce. It's, it's, this is a forty ounce. It's a. This was probably it might be bigger than that. This was, is that what they look like? The Stanleys. No. They're You've similar. They're similar to that, but they fit in cup holders. I'll look it up. You've they go seen skinny. Them oh, but they they're fit everywhere. in cup holders. They go skin, They're everywhere. My Yeti fits in almost they're every cup holder. They're kind of skinny at the bottom, and yeah. then they come out, and they're like more like the um, Yeti finish, the matte. Yeah, the matte finish. I have. They're nicer than this. A walla. I think I've heard of a walla. This is what I have. It's sitting in front of me. Oh yeah, we, my yeah, favorite always, part about this one—it doesn't fit them. in anything. It doesn't. It doesn't. But it is. It has like a built-in straw. Like this. This, this is a straw. Oh, it is. I just drank that. Just That's right in front of you. I just drank that. Wow, I didn't have to damn! Tip it. Right all over, all over my face. Yeah, boom. Here's my seat. Damn, you just dominated me. You got yeah. drinking that. Shit I love a good day. water bottle, though. I honestly want to like I throw know. away a bunch of ours and get brand new. Get nice good, ones. Nice ones. Man, we're basic. All right, llamas or alpacas. Ooh, alpaca. <laughs> I went to an which alpaca Which one bites farm. the other one nuts off? Which one is that? Uh, when which they one, fight. Which one, one of them fights? Do yeah. they both spit? One of them when they fight. Llamas spit. Look how he spits. They, look at, they look bite their alpacas. nuts off? Yeah, like when the when the two males are like fighting over a female, one of them like bites the other one oh, nuts geez, off or something. I don't know. But Maybe I went to an, an alpaca, alpaca farm like uh, last summer. I just typed and in alpaca. They were really cute. And the first thing that came up was biting testicles. Biting so testicles, I guess yeah. it's oh, I'm going to go with alpacas because they fight dirty. <laughs> Ooh, that's kind of scary to me. So I'll say llamas because I, I don't want my nuts are also mistakenly bitten well, off. Yeah, they won't bite yours. They might. What if I'm mean to Janelle also asked girl pizza or boy pizza? Boy pizza. Girl pizza. We already decided this boy pizza. Girl pizza. She Depends then asked something. So, how about pizza or Taco Bell? <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, Pe- oh fuck! Pizza. pizza. Taco Bell's great. I'll say, yeah, but I'll pizza, pizza all the way. Yeah, or, or, or Mexican just pizza. Too good. <laughs> <laughs> I used to That's love the, the Mexican pizza. pizza. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I know. I know what Ryan's going to say for this one, but Janelle said, "Squish the spider or save the spider." Save the Squish. spider. <laughs> I'll say save. I've been <laughs> in the mode. So here's what I've been doing a lot lately with my son Jack. I I. I want him to not kill all the bugs. 
Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. So like he's outside and there's ants or something. Or they don't spiders. want him to just, just kind of like, squash him. And I don't, in my head, I'm like, I don't want him to turn into Dexter. Right. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But obviously yeah. not killing ants does not lead to like murdering people. I get that. <laughs> no, but but you like, don't want him to be a dick. I don't you don't want, want him to do like, it for fun. You don't want so, him to just not yeah. respect life. I'll just like, I'm like, I'll scoop it out of the sandbox and put it in the, in the whatever. And I'm like, so I personally, I think it's going to save. The spider uh-huh. is what I'm going with. Com- you're teaching uh, him compassion. This is like the opposite thing in our house. Like if we see a spider, I'm not Whoever going out. Sees it first I'm not killing gonna... bugs outside. They're, if they live outside. That's where they live. That's you fine. live inside. But if there's a spider in my house, I will be like, Ryan, either remove the spider or I'm going to kill it. Yeah. Your She's choice. Like, if you don't get it out of the yeah. house right now, it's dead. And I'm I like, fine, that. okay, here because I go. Because I am, don't like them and I'm scared of them and so I'm not going to risk moving it around and having it touch me or crawl on me i don't know it's dead Ooh, touch me and i also i always tell them i'm like well this is inside they live outside so if they're inside then they get killed they're in the wrong place yep they're not I, supposed they to know. be here like, I they also fucking don't, know they should i you know we I, we've all killed spiders yeah if they're on the ceiling i don't i don't usually fuck with you're them. like I don't well jump yeah. up you deserve them. No, you're okay same yeah no but unless it's in my bedroom like and then i will not the go back in there or they're the crawling on the table or something they're they're they could get it yeah they could get it um Bobo, Bobo says you're home alone at night. Oh boy! Here's the this or that. Would you rather hear a window break, okay, or a child laugh through the walls? Oh my god! <laughs> like frightening or like went through the walls in your house? Yeah, I'm assuming maybe this is not your own child. Like yeah. you're hearing someone. So there's like a scary thing or a creepy thing. Is okay, happening. I'm gonna say I would. Wait, would you rather? Which one would you rather? Yeah, which one would you rather? I'd rather yeah. hear a window break because when you said that child thing, it like gave me the creeps. I think the child laughing is means your house is haunted. Right. The window breaking, someone's trying someone's to break trying it. Someone's trying to break which in. Which is also a, a real life scary. Oh, it's scary. And you're alone. Shit. But it's not like, uh, it's not like, um, you're, you might die. I'm going to go window. It's not like, what's the word? I think child's terrifying. I'm going to say child laughing. Haunting you like, forever. Um, uh, Orgasm. I don't know. Like it's not like Erection? seeds. I can't think of like paranormal Butt type. Stuff. Yeah, you know. <laughs> no, Ryan. Uh, no. Uh, Ryan. Uh, the next one is blowjob or butt stuff. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Cookie dough or baked cookies? Cookie dough. Baked oh, cookies. Oh shit! Wait. One hundred percent. Yeah, you got. Well, I don't yeah. know about one hundred percent. I really like cookie dough. I like cookie dough too, but I'm, I'm not a fan. Of I think baked cookie cookies. dough. Oh my god! I maybe love like fifteen years ago, I ate a lot more cookie dough. I'm gonna go with baked yeah, cookies. Yeah, you actually have a point there. Um, I'm gonna go. With I'll co- say go baked, baked cookies, cookies too, cookies. just just so I can be cool. Like Allison, it better have for you says burrito or taco. <laughs> burrito. Ooh. I'm gonna go with a taco. Well, it depends. I think I like a taco. Better. I like a soft taco. I don't really like a hard shell taco. I like I, I, yeah, I, like, I, I like, like the hard shell taco when I was a kid. Now I grew up. I, I like, like the like burritos, the soft taco. but okay. I think I like a taco better. Allison said another similar one: stay up late or get up early. Stay Ryan up and I are stay up late. Yeah, Natalie's okay. drinking. Wait, coffee. real quick. What's the what's the difference between a soft taco and a burrito? I think what? it's wrapped. are you serious? Burritos are wrapped like isn't all the a, way around. Isn't a soft more like, taco wrapped all the way around? Nah. A soft taco. No. Not if you get a really. soft taco from Taco usually, Bell, ta- isn't it wrapped? But usually Not burritos are just like no? stuffed full of a bunch of different stuff. I feel like Wait, all Mexican wrapped, food is wait. the same shit. We're just like in a, a different ta- a soft taco is the same as a hard taco, but it's just in a soft shell. But a burrito, you just like, you can put a bunch of stuff in it. Someone's going to wrap it all You can't put a bunch of stuff in a taco? Well, it's probably a burrito then. It's the wrapping. Natalie, Emily says kittens or puppies. Puppies. Oh, wait a minute. If you put a bunch of stuff in a hard shell taco, it becomes a burrito? And then you wrap it up? No, a hard shell taco. Oh. No. Well, so I had. So it's not. Okay. (laughs) Okay. I I, I can just think all Mexican food is the fucking same. It's just the same. Just cheese and a little bit of meat. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's how you wrap it. Maybe. Um, Martin's UNDG. Um, What would you always say? Kittens or puppies? puppies. Oh, what was the question? Puppies or puppies? Kittens. Kittens. Uh, yeah, I don't care. Uh, Martin, <laughs> Martin's UNDQ. I would, I guess, I would say I would. Like, Martin's do they all, Would this thing always stay a puppy or a kitten? But just like, what do you find like cuter or more joy from, puppies or kittens? Yeah, Neither. just no Neither. context. What would you? What would you rather uh, eat? Pu- uh, puppy. What would okay. you rather? Pet? <laughs> yeah. What would I rather pet? What would you rather or launch with? into the sun? I think maybe I'll pick a puppy. Or I got more fun. What would you rather with? kick across the room? Um, the cat that my roommate had in college. <laughs> so you're saying kitten. That but. thing was so he's the worst. God, I love cats. Um, I do like cats. In my head, I'm like, all right, the cat's probably going to scratch me, but the dog's going to piss on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which is worse? So they like, both Those suck. Are both shitty. Uh, the cat will shit in the house. The, the dog yeah, will piss on your yeah, games. <laughs> yeah, great. Um, Martin's UNDG said Sweden or Finland. I'm going to say, listen, Martin. Where's he from? Where are you Sweden? from? Sweden. Listen, I, I love this. I love, I love the Bundesen. Okay, so I love oh, the Swede. Bundesen is Swede. I love the Swede. 
and I don't know if you're from Finland, but I love Finland if you're there too. Either way, you have a much better, uh, like, um, social thing than the United States. So Where's, good, what's good for you? A, what's in, is, what, re- is Helsinki in Finland? I actually sure. have an answer and, and a reason. Okay, let's hear it. And I hope I'm not wrong in messing this up, but we'll find I out. recently read that <laughs> Finland has the happiest people. Yeah, on, one of the, oh, on the Earth. Nordic countries are always so and high so for people I who are happy. Finland because of that. Really, people are so happy in the Nordic countries, mm-hmm. probably because they have like things like healthcare and and they're all system. beautiful. Yeah, and that's why we've seen the people. And they're there. like really <sighs> tall. Which one are they really tall in? Yeah, I oh, think yeah. You're someone's right. like really it's, like they're the height Netherlands is. or something. They're all all God, up there. No one would ever want to be there. Um, measles says Monopoly or Munchkin. Ooh. Oh, fuck you. Monopoly. Measles. Mon- nah. <sighs> Mon- I've never played Munchkin's Munchkin, faster. but it sounds Munchkin. horrible. I might I'm saying Munchkin because it's faster. Is it faster? Yeah. It has to be. Well, it depends on how you play, I suppose. If you play, You're playing if by you the play rules. Monopoly by the rules, it playing might be by the rules. faster. So every, every thing goes Munchkin's got auction. that thing where like someone's at nine points and everyone attacks them so they can't get to ten and win the game. But I could end it faster. You know what? I th- I, st- I can't believe I'm saying this. I cannot believe this. I think I'm going to say Munchkin. I'm going to say Gosh. Detroit Apple. Thanks a lot, Measles. I can't believe I'm saying that. Okay, Measles says dual layer or player aid. That's a, that's a rough <laughs> dual one Dual layer for me. player board for Ooh. me. Player aid. Uh, Jeff loves his player aid for sure. But man, you like your dual layer player boards too, though, dude. One. This is a tough one for me. Well, so here's the thing. Here's what I, what I think we'll, we'll tip without? the tides for you. Dual layer player boards. If you can get them, right? You should. But what if the game doesn't have a player aid? That you you fucking it. hate I, I was going to say player aid because like Jeff's worst nightmare. player aid is helps the game. Like a dual layer player board is just like a bonus. It's just, it's if like you can a, have it, you should. It's just, it's, it's but like, if it's you like don't sexy, have it, yeah. unless you're, unless you're like through the ages, which I think has to have it or, or, or terraforming Mars. Sure. Thing. Yeah. But things that keep track. Mostly but, yeah, they're just like, if you can have it, you should. But, but player aid, you get mad about the player aid. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm um, gonna say do a layer player. Uh, periodic table picks. Read the rule book or watch the playthrough. You know what? This is funny. Recently, watch the playthrough. I yeah. have been a proponent of watching the videos lately. If if I'm going to get the rules 100 percent correct with both of those things, I'm gonna watch the video. Yeah, same. I don't think that would happen. But if I can only if I can only do one and get the rules correct, I'm going to say watch the video. I have been Rodney Smithing things and not reading the rules lately to the game. Really? Yeah. If I, I had to pick one or the other, your book. Or I your? think I would pick the rule book. <laughs> yeah. It's it can be it can when they're great they're great. I find myself when I read the rule book, um, I, I, it's it's almost like when I'm reading books in general. Paragraphs will go by spaced until out. I realize that I've spaced out. Yeah, and then I'm like, "Fuck! That's like what did I miss?" Reading, and that happens with watching videos too. But videos yes. are easier to just be like, tap, 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 yeah. tap, and then just keep watching. For me, that. it's easier to concentrate when I'm reading than it is to listen to a video. The thing I th- yeah. I find I have like my sure, mind will like I agree with longer. you. Yeah. I agree with you, but lately it's the other way for me. It used mm-hmm. to be the opposite. I used to be like, yeah, no, the videos, and, the videos I can't do. But and I think on it like. If it's not, it's both. Yeah. But I mean, obviously, that's why I would rather watch that. the video to support my rule reading, but like one or the other, I'd pick yeah. the book. I'm shocked. Swoozle asked the exact same thing about dual air player boards or player aids, but the I was thinking, exact two yeah. things. Wow. Um, Swoozle also asked mouth holstering the nightstick yeah. <laughs> or eating sushi from the barbershop oh, floor. baby! Mouth holstering. No, wait. Eating sushi from the barbershop floor. Yeah, I don't want a mouth holster tonight. I already did it for 10 I already, minutes. I already did it for 10 seconds. I already go 10 I minutes move with that. on I'm to the barbershop. I want to go to the eat sushi out the Natalie? floor. But shave that. Fucking floor. <laughs> Shave the floor. Oh Sweep the floor or something. <laughs> this is like boy yeah. things yeah. or girl yeah. things. Yeah. This is easy. Just mouth holes. Boy it. things. Then. No, no. I want to hear if she wants to eat sushi on the. Do you want okay, to eat Natalie, sushi on the barbershop uh-huh. floor? She wants a mouth holster. You're a mouth holsterer. <laughs> um, Natalie, iced tea or iced coffee? I don't. I'm not picking Ooh. one. I don't care. Neither of those things. Neither. Natalie, iced tea or well, iced I coffee? I obviously would have said iced tea in the past, but okay. damn. But now you're in ice. Do you like Devin likes iced coffee? It was very good. Okay, w- where would you rather pee? An iced coffee cup or an iced tea iced bottle? Tea. Iced okay. tea bottle. <laughs> yeah, thank it. you. Um, did you pick one? Oh, I love both. Ooh. Gotta pick one. That's the problem. Okay, I'll say iced coffee. Oh, call, call oh, to the new. Call, call to the, the new. new. Bacon or sausage? This but is all from homemade soda. Bacon. Sausage. Bacon. I hate sausage. Oh, I love sausage. Homemade soda, Conalingus or Fellatio? Conalingus. 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 Like and then our, homemade our soda also has tacos or pizza, which is kind of earlier. Wow. Oh, we're pizza. Wow. Lots pizza. of repeats. Yeah. And then we're going to go over to the Facebook page real quick, which again <laughs> always restarts whenever. We have a new member. Oh, let's talk about this really quick. Oh, yeah. We oh, got, yeah. We got we to 200. 200. We're at 210. Oh, yeah. So last we've time gotten like 10 or 15. We got to do 210 giveaways. A couple weeks. So I am going to do the giveaway this week. 
Probably. Yes. I don't remember. Um, and then you'll get the game <laughs> eventually uh, at, at some point. So I'm going to – you don't have to do anything. If you're in the Facebook group, you're automatically entered. That's your so all entrance. members. Yeah. I will post this, and I'll say I'm going to spin a wheel at some point pretty soon. I'll cool. give people a couple of days if they want to want to join in. Sure. And we'll pick a few winners probably. probably join this Facebook group because um, he's not likely to do it for another couple of days. So you still maybe have time to yeah, enter even. You have some time. And you're going to want to do this. Jeff gives away really cool stuff here. And if I get involved in this giveaway, I have some stuff to throw in. You're going to want to be – a part of this yeah. giveaway. So if we do two or three boxes, that's going to be some good stuff in there because there's been very popular games that Ryan and I have not liked recently. Right. Yeah, you might, might be in boxes. You might and get for free. <laughs> so yeah, that's the Facebook group. Let's scroll down into um, where I put this thing. All right, um, winter vacation or summer vacation? Now it's going to say summer. I'm saying summer what because do you mean winter vacation or summer, like take a vacation in the winter oh. or take a vacation in the oh, summer. Oh, okay. I guess I interpreted that differently. I, I interpret it from a teacher standpoint where I'm saying summer vacation. Like summer break versus some winter break? I don't yeah, know. maybe. Like you're going maybe on a vacation just, or let's in think the of like, summer. Would you rather have two weeks off in the winter or would you rather two weeks off in the summer? How about that? Oh, two weeks off in the summer. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to say, I'm gonna say summer. But I could see the other. If you're looking at it like, like if I go into a tropical the, it's, it's island in the right winter, now, I want to get away. I live in Michigan. I'm a I'm a snowbird and I yeah, leave. I want to yeah. get that the fuck could be away. Cool. Yep. Um, Dunstan on the Facebook page says, "Sorry, Dustin on the Facebook page says uh, playing a deep game with four AP prone players, no. or the same game with four chronic cheaters." Oh, cheaters. man! I'm, I think people I'm are the AP. cheating I'm yeah. the in the game. I'd rather go slow. At least the than game has integrity. Have to have confrontational situations. God damn it! When he, all right, who's this? Uh, Dustin Payton. Okay, I gotta hand it to Dustin. Yeah, because, Dustin's a good one. Because when when you first were like four AP players, I was like, I don't give a fuck what you say after yeah. this. I'm and not then, picking that. And, then and the now cheater, I'm like, it makes it worse. You're like, well, I might have to pick that. <laughs> but it still is kind of close. <laughs> yeah, I because yeah. if I'm catching them constantly, I can stop You're it. Just like. But if it's AP and I have to wait 20 minutes for my fucking turn, I can't do I just can't. Yeah. I would like, no, yeah. I think I have to stop. Ah, I, I'm not answering this one. Oh. <laughs> um, Rune over on the, this is all Facebook. Uh, throw, throw it up or shit it out. Shit it out. Shit it out. I, I, hate, I hate throwing, throwing up. Throwing might be the, the worst, worst experience in, in the world. I hate throwing Horrible. up. And I, maybe a handful of weeks ago, a couple months ago, I, we, the flu, like this flu bug ran through the house. I haven't thrown up. This is TMI. Who gives a shit? I haven't <laughs> thrown up like that in years, years and years. Yeah. And it's throwing up. Oh, so there's awful. nothing worse. I'd rather just sit there and shit my brains out and be on my phone. Yeah. <laughs> like, seriously. At least you're sitting down least, and you're not God. like with but your I'm mouth right now, over and disgusting like toilet. And then and when then you're throwing the feeling up, of it, you can't control it. Yeah. No, it's just, it's violent. It's just happening. And then you're like, yeah. this might, when it's happening for a split second, you're like, what if this doesn't ever end? And I can't yeah. breathe. Right. But I'll tell you right now, shitting with that Werther's felt like that was oh, never yeah. going to fucking yeah. end. And it was just nonstop pooping well, for some like reason though days. i feel like when you're shitting when you're shitting <laughs> you still have like slight control i know it's like when it comes yeah. out it's yeah. like it's coming out but you yeah. can be like i have to get to the bathroom where if you're throwing up it just comes up you're like yeah. you're going. Like, i'm throwing up shitting here it is like you don't even have to like watch <laughs> what a great it's, conversation. it's coming from the other end of your body yeah. if you're throwing up you're like watching it yeah, pour you can't out of look your away. mouth yeah and that, and you can't be on taste, your ipad while you're that taste of throw up is like in your mouth that's the only good part about you Oh, man. Uh, Daniel Bunnison, the Swede over there, uh, gave a few. <laughs> Natalie, this one's for you. Pasta or babies? <laughs> <laughs> or puppies. Oh. Yeah. Pasta. I know. I <laughs> you say pasta? Okay. Well, I was saying that for me. I wasn't answering so, for you. So I was you're going saying... pasta? Wait, 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 wait. If I was like, if I was like, let's go, let's go over to Peyton's house. You can hold Peyton. Okay, or babies. I was like, here's some Alfredo. What are you going to pick? Oh, Peyton. Yeah. I thought so. Okay, so babies. Babies. All right. Puppies or babies? <laughs> <laughs> this is rude. This I, is challenging. I, I put that one in. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. man. Hmm. For Pu- me. Puppies. I think I got to do puppies. So puppies wins. Puppies, puppies first, babies, then puppies. Puppies, babies, So at least pasta. we know the order now. Um, Ryan, this one's for you. Toilets okay. or bottles? Bottles. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Definitely. You are bottles. Bottles. <laughs> bottles for sure. Teach a game or be taught a game? Teach a game. I would say teach a game, Natalie. Be taught a game for yep. show. I think we're I think we're weird thing. in that way, Joe. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think so. Wait, can I just say something real quick? Yeah. About pastas other, and babies. We have, like, in the basement we have like a mini fridge and the other day like the kids opened it and pulled out this like mostly <laughs> oh, gone no. Arnold Palmer bottle and I was like, was Ew, it? put that back. No, 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 like, no, 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 no. He's like, it's nothing. It's, it was in the it's fridge. Real, I had because they, they were like, Why? And I'm like, just put it back in the fridge or any unsure bottle you dump. 
Any, anything gets dumped. I only had an unsure situation happen one time. <laughs> Did you sniff it or you just dumped no, it? No, I dumped them both. Right. I just dumped them both. <laughs> okay. I was pissed off, but I dumped them both. Game pissed at home? Pissed or in first. Game at home or at someone else's? Game at home. home. I agree home. Yeah, game at Unless, home. Unless like someone else's could have like a sweet setup, but yeah, true. I, I just, say, I just, I just enjoy like being. Home. I would say game at home, but I think there are a lot of people. Like, I'd be curious if Dave and Joe would say like they would rather be like at Bills that have a game room or me has specific game room. Like, so oh, I wonder if I people see, have. Yeah. Have I, I'm going to ask them that. Maybe they'll listen to the show. Yep. Who knows? Um, dual layered or triple layered? <laughs> dual layered. Like triple, triple layered is getting a little ridiculous. What about quad layered? <laughs> quad layered is getting a little too nuts. So really quick, the the recent Kickstarters that we have reviewed have been like like sweet on Kickstarter. They've been like killing it on Kickstarter. That one, what? Um, yeah, the the Venus. quad layered, the quad layer one. Venus, yeah, Venus. Cities of Venus. Cities of quad layer. Are so? Did you have you gone to the fa- that? Kickstarter page? No. We're on the Kickstarter page. The Game Casters. Wait. Okay. Our quote did for we... cities. You did not. Oh, I was like, um, did I want The to... cities that the, the, the Cities the of Venus page, it says Game Casters, and it says, the quad layer player boards are fucking awesome. Oh, I think <laughs> that's right. right. Did you show us that? I yes. saw that's that somewhere. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, Brian. Well, hold on real quick. Yeah. Real quick. I had something to say about the dual layer, triple layer, quad layer. Yep. <laughs> You've eaten an Oreo. Everybody's eating an Oreo. And an Oreo is good. You have a double stuff warrior, you're like, oh, mm-hmm, if you can mm-hmm. eat a double stuff, you should. Yeah. Yeah. When you go triple stuff, too it's much. almost too much. And then quadruple stuff. If you ever taken your double stuff and split them off and make them quadruple stuff, yeah. It's good for a second or two. And then you're like, it's a lot of stuff. Oh, I don't think I can have this much stuff. stuff. <laughs> the proportions are off. But double stuff? Ooh. <laughs> Brian Lyles, who is basically the Facebook page, says, uh, <laughs> yeah. dog or cats? Cats, cats dogs. dogs, we get it. Cats, 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 um, cats, we get cats, it. Cats, Day or night, cats, Nate, cats, dogs, right, day, we get it. Night, 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 night. Yeah, taco yeah. burrito. Oh my god, isn't that Fuck, funny? Okay, yeah. here's the a new one. Chinese food or Mexican food? Chinese food. Ooh, Chinese food all day. I tough. am going to go Mexican food because of chips and salsa. Guys, damn it, Jeff, what the f- chips and salsa? Is I love chips and salsa. No, I'm still saying Chinese food. Chips and salsa. Oh, but then Chinese, Chinese food. food, there's so many things. I know. Yes. I'm, I'm going to stick with Mexican food. Yeah, that's a good, ah! that's a good pick. I'm I doing can't. Chinese food. They're both equally awesome. Travel within your own country or travel abroad? Mm. I'm going to say travel abroad. <sighs> I don't like doing either. Uh, <laughs> you just don't uh, like yeah, traveling. Which one I like do both. I <laughs> then you'd want to stay home. Yeah. Yeah, stay home. Yeah. I feel like you'd like <laughs> in your own country because you could drive. Yeah, driving would be fun. But, oh gosh, I say abroad. Well, no, because like I don't like to fly. But that doesn't mean I don't want to experience Japan. I still really want to go to Japan right. and would Australia. You, would you sacrifice your your My life. fear of flying? <laughs> yeah, to go to, to, go Japan, to Japan instead like of going to West place. Land. Right. Yeah. <laughs> or going uh, to Ohio. I'll, <laughs> say, I'll, say, ab- I'll say abroad. Okay. I'm, yeah, I yeah, I'm going to say abroad. 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 <laughs> okay. Heather Schwindeman, I'm going to do the ones that oh um, haven't been said because Heather Schwindeman said similar things Did like she? babies That's and pasta funny. and things like that, which is great. Natalie, is for you wine or hard cider? I would say hard cider. I'm not a huge wine That's person. That's so good for Natalie. I really she... like both of them. <laughs> oh, damn. She's Fuck. having wine right now. But I also yep. have hard cider upstairs. Da, Heather. I know. Natalie's gotten beat on some of That's these. That's good. Natalie, here's an easier one. Twister or a Euro game? <laughs> <laughs> A Euro game. That's from Heather Schwindeman? I do, yeah. actually do That's not so like good. playing Twister. <laughs> um, Lord of the Rings or Harry Potter? <laughs> oh, Harry Potter. Lord of the Rings. I would Lord say. Lord of the fucking Rings. Yeah, I would probably say Lord of the Rings because I've seen more of it, but. And then Harry in parentheses, like she Potter. said, you better say it in the correct voice, which probably was. Harry, Harry Potter. <laughs> Harrison Potter. My balls are Harry Potter. She also <laughs> says um, uh, this or that. Uh, how's she going, eh? Or oh, you betcha. Oh, you betcha. Oh, you betcha. Say, oh, oh, you betcha. I would, I would probably go with oh heck. Oh heck. But you betcha. Oh, 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 you betcha there. Oh, oh geez. heck there, don't you know? You what about, bet. I might say oh jeez. Betcha. Oh jeez. Ah, that wasn't an option. How's she going, eh? Oh yeah, you betcha. Yeah, yeah. how's she going, eh? You betcha. Oh, you betcha. I'm gonna say how's she going. How's she going? Okay, have Isn't we? Have you figured said? out hard? No. Yeah. How's she going, eh? Oh no. Come on. Okay. Cider or wine? Fine. Cider. Yeah, that's a kind of. I think I got uh, most of them, if not all of them. Bingo, Damn. bingo. Here we are. Sorry for the, you know, just a lot of this and that, but we 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 nailed it. That's fucking crazy, 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 crazy hippos. I was trying to do hungry, hungry hippos, oh. and crazy came out and crazy, it didn't work. Crazy so. hippos. Ah, fuck it. Why don't you step <laughs> inside? <laughs> Come on, it's <laughs> warm in there. You think you found <laughs> some grass, <laughs> but nope, it's pubic <laughs> hair. You wonder why <laughs> there's so <laughs> much <laughs> underwear. <laughs> you stepped inside a Natalie's <laughs> nook. 
Today on Natalie's Nook, I had some inspiration from last week when Jeff gave us an A I T A M I the asshole on Reddit. I remember that. Yeah. Um, Thanks. So I want, and I thought that we had like a good debate conversation about it, and I kind of wanted to find another one, and I was curious your thoughts on this. Bye, curious. So let me read it. <laughs> um, the title is "Am I the asshole for avoiding a game day I wasn't invited to?" So my avoiding game day I wasn't invited. My husband. Why does that make? I Wait, avoiding one that you'll, I wasn't invited to. It okay. all will be revealed. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay so I sh- I'm confused by that sentence. Yeah. But that that make I I'm it supposed make to be sense. confused by that sentence. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. yeah. My husband has a group of friends he occasionally has over for a day of board games, like an eight to ten hour stretch. He goes to their houses to do the same. In the past, I was invited lots of the time along with the other wives and girlfriends. As we got older and kids came along, or for whatever reason, I'm not invited to participate. No other partners do either. Have kids, they said. It's probably (laughs) been about five or six years. I've known these people for more than 20 years, and I like them. I like games, too. But whatever... Did his, one of us write this? <laughs> Is this our group? Okay. But whatever, it's his friend's gr- his friend group, not mine. To be clear, I am explicitly not invited to join in. Now, when he hosts, explicitly, yeah, not explicitly, invited. not implicitly. So you're not invited. They, specif- they specifically yeah. say you cannot come to this. Yes. Okay. That that's that's, what, that's all I'm reading. This. Okay. Okay. Yep. Now, when he hosts, I try to be out of the Sex house thing. doing Sex other thing. things. When I'm home, I go to a different floor of the house and just hang out by myself. I say hi briefly okay. when I see his friends, but I do not stick around or have longer conversations. He asked, why am I like this with annoyance after the last one? He says one guy's wife is in the kitchen with them and cooks for them most of the day. She likes doing that. It's not a weird gender role thing. Another sits with them and chats. He says it's awkward that I don't do that and very clearly avoid the house entirely if I can and then that floor if I can't. From my perspective, informed by a lonely childhood, I have absolutely no interest in hanging out around the edges of a social thing I'm not invited to. That seems so sad, pitiful, and desperate. I kind of had enough of doing that sort of thing more than 30 years ago. I'm not invited. How could I possibly tell if I'm Explicitly. an annoyance or too Explicitly. much or affecting the dynamic from what they intended the dynamic to be by not having partners there. Further, it does not it does hurt that I had been included and now I'm not. I really like them and playing games. I guess that wasn't so much mutual. I'm also kind of sad that I'm not in a marriage where couple friends are a thing. We're friendly to each other's friends, but he, while entirely welcome, also isn't interested in hanging out with my friends. Maybe that's a rare situation for people. It's not what he wants and he has a right to that. But I can be sad about it. He seems to think I'm therefore pouting and taking it out on him. I think if I'm not included, it's crazy that there would be a problem with me absolutely not being there. So tell me, am I being um, awkward and rude and an asshole? And then she wrote, edit, to clarify a few questions. Yes, this has been communicated to him. Because I kind of thought that at first. I'm like, did she tell him how she feels about not being right? So she said yes to that. Um and secondly, why I'm not included is irrelevant. It's completely acceptable to want to hang out with your friends by yourself, even in a marriage. The change happened mainly due to ease of playing with a smaller crowd. It sucks for me, but no one is being explicitly mean to me by not including me. She loves this word explicit. Yeah. Third, I have stuff word I'm happy to do paper. on my <laughs> own. I have my own friends. And while I get the nice intentions, I have no interest in making a friend group with the sole shared commonality of our husbands are friends Mm -hmm. or excluded spouse spike game day that seems extra soul killing and sad to me for some reason (laughs) that's funny okay do you want to go first or is there more no that's it do you want to go first what do you guys think about that i have saw i have some thoughts i agree i don't think she's the asshole for her not the asshole nt at all what I do think she might be the asshole for is going to Reddit with this entire situation. (laughs) (laughs) Like, like, um, man, she is clear from her perspective. She is clearly not the asshole at all. I, as you were saying that, I was like, I'm right there in locks that we are two horses in harness. She is absolutely not the asshole. If she was, if, if she's, like grammatically correct and explicitly was like no (laughs) you you used to be able to play games with us now you cannot i'm guessing maybe your husband was like listen you know we're gonna try to get more games played more heavier games that a lot of these wives aren't really into we want we want to play those so we're just not going to invite any of the wives yeah it's nothing against you personally but right. we're just trying to, maybe that's and it what seems kind of like he's happened. like well all the other wives are fine with it and they even kind of like hang out with us a little bit but you are not fine with it and you avoid us so what's your problem i 
I, I she is not the asshole at all in that in that way uh, from my perspective. Jeff, yeah, what do you I think? have. Yeah, I n- not the asshole would be my. I don't think my it's first three super letters. Black and white. MTA, but <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't. I have some questions about. Yes, that word. She was explicitly uninvited. Explicitly. Yeah. So, which obviously hurt her feelings, and she said that she told that to him and mm-hmm. said, "My feelings are hurt that I wasn't." Yeah, I used those. to be able to right, play. So why do I want to be around so, this group when I'm like feel horrible and my feelings are hurt for being not invited, and then yet yeah, I'm supposed to sit there and pretend that it's like everything's great? Yeah. Did yeah. The, was that conversation different than the other guys and their wives or spouses? Right. Who then, st- but still maybe just those sit people's around? wives don't care about playing games. They're like, Does oh, who she, cares? Is she rude? To them when they come in, or like completely standoffish. It sounds or like she, she just, just avoids, she just right? Yeah, there. it sounds like she's it, like, hey, like and then just does there. her own thing or leaves. And everyone else is probably like, we're all kind of hanging out together. Why is she not? And so he's embarrassed for her, or you know, for like, yeah, like, I don't, okay, she's acting weird. Yeah. But to I don't me, know why if I'm going to be in the acting. room hanging out with you, let me fucking play. If you're not going to let me play, then I'm going to go do something else. Yeah, or yeah, why do you expect me to then just be Susie Housemaker, who is just going to make you food? Yeah, or, that's or my she role? says, or the other person just kind of sits and hangs out and talks. I guess if that's what you want to do, <coughs> fine. But right. she doesn't want to sit there and talk to you. Like maybe she wants her own time. It sounds like, and it sounds like to me, she doesn't necessarily care. Like whatever, I'm not invited to game night. I guess that's whatever. Uh, you know, none of the yeah. none of the other spouses are invited either, so it's not a big deal. Right. But now, uh, aside from telling me I'm no longer welcome to play, you are wanting me to still participate in this thing that you kind of told me I wasn't allowed to do anymore. Yeah, and weird. I have to have, I'm supposed to just like pretend like I'm okay with doing this ancillary thing on the side that I don't want to do. Mm-hmm. And if I don't do that, then I'm offending you. Even though I was enjoying the thing you kicked me out of. Yeah. Right. That's how I read it from what she was saying. Cause she was, she and, wrote that really well. And I'm fine with, she said a lot of good things about like, it's, it's nice to have two, like if you're married, you and your spouse having, Having separate like friend groups. Mm-hmm. That's, that's that's great. Okay. Separate totally hobbies, fine. separate friend groups. Totally cool. You hang fine. out with this, you hang out with that. You can also have like hang out of like we're now we're gonna have couple hangouts. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. cool. And it's good to have your own separate hobbies. And it seems like that's what she's kind of accepting now. Like, okay, this is now your your hobby. You play yeah. board games with your guys. I'm gonna be in my room while you're doing that. And then when I go out, you're not you're not coming. Right? Like, and that's that's fine. Like I, I would anticipate that she would go out with her friends somewhere or do something with her friends Mm -hmm. that he shouldn't be hanging around with unless he's invited. Right. Cause, and I think that's a normal relationship. Cause turn it around for a second. He, they, you know, she's hanging out with her friends and he's there and they're doing, you know, what a girl's like to do, uh, under uh, underwear, uh, (laughs) underwear, underwear trampoline, yeah, underwear, underwear, trampoline, pillow fights. And he's involved at first. Yeah. And he's like, Oh, we're all throwing pillows. And then after a (laughs) while, she's like, you know what? Your boobs weird. are too big for yeah, us, please. and it's making us uncomfortable. Yeah. We want you. We're explicitly telling yeah. you, you and all the other husbands are no longer allowed because you hit us too hard with these pillows. <laughs> yeah, too hard. <laughs> too but, <laughs> but all the other husbands are still coming over, and what they're, they're going to do is they're oh, yeah. Well, they're like they're going in the kitchen, and they're going to like they're going to play euchre. <laughs> they're like giving and us he's pillows like, if ours breaks during the pillow. But fight. I wanted. I was. I had so much fun hitting you with pillows. <laughs> I don't want to play euchre. Well, you're embarrassing. Like, I, I feel like he would be like, he would clearly see the situation from that point of view. Yeah. If he just, if you make a serious, a serious uh, mirrored situation where her and her friends are, you know, going bowling and he yeah. was bowling with them. And yeah. after a while, they're like, we kind of just want to talk about you yeah, guys. We, we want, we want, our, we want to talk time. about you guys. So go away. Yeah. But make us nachos. Yeah. Bring us beer. Yeah. And then you guys can do whatever you guys want to yeah. do. Mm-hmm. Or come to the bowling alley, not bowl, and sit next to us. Yeah. So next to us, <laughs> right. and watch. Yeah. And then if you guys want to chat about what happened in kindergarten with your kids, then do that. And then the guy's like, well, okay, now it's not but as he's fun. Like, but the guy says instead, you know what? You go out with your friends. I'm going to stay home. And yeah. then she got mad at him. That's a weird. Yeah. That's yeah. a weird it's, thing. It doesn't make any sense. She, I mean, most people, almost all of them said that she's not the asshole right and i don't think she's the asshole and i don't think he's the i don't think necessarily he's the asshole for wanting to just have like a game day with his friends no but i think he is the asshole for making her feel bad for avoiding it when her feelings are hurt so like what he should do is either understand that that's what she needs to do 
if this is how the situation is going to be. Or he needs to be like, when it's in our home where you live, why don't you join us for a few games? You know, yeah. like, what's the Make big deal about Give that? Give her the option. Hey, <laughs> yeah. we're, we're having games over here. If you would like to hang out with us, you're welcome to hang out with the us. The new rule in the group is whoever's house we're at, that wife can participate. Yeah. Right, what's you one know? more person? And if they want to, and if they don't, then they don't. Like, because the real, the real issue, something? the real issue, I think, is she's feeling um, alienated and upset that she was involved. And now yes. you're telling me I can't be involved. And now, but but I still want you to do something else around us and it's like yeah, that would really hurt part. my feelings i would yeah. be really upset Me too. i would be upset and i wouldn't necessarily be mad but i'd be hurt yeah. i'd be like this feels bad and i want to not feel bad so to not feel bad i'm going to go away from you yeah. while you do this thing that i was invited to that i'm now not ex- i'm now explicitly not yeah. Yeah, invited yeah yeah to. and Even- if then she's doing her own thing then now she's if she's moved on from that hurt right yeah. she's they talked it out okay now just let her let her be. Yeah, let her do right. whatever the fuck she yeah, wants. Exactly. Let her be. And I get it. Like, she doesn't have to. I'm not, I'm not no. like in her Hang situation, the but like, there's times where like you will have um, Chris over and you guys will like play guitar and stuff. Yeah. And I'll be like, sometimes I hang out down here, but sometimes I'll be like upstairs and it's kind of, I feel kind of like awkward. I don't, I'm not, just I'm not like her. There. I'm not like, oh, I wish I was invited. <laughs> I'm more just like, like, do do they're downstairs myself? doing stuff. I'm like, I don't really know what to do with Because there's nothing for you to do when they're playing guitar. This happens at every fucking <laughs> party that we've ever had. Right. Is, is the party starts and then Ryan and Chris go into another room and they're playing the guitar. Yeah. But, yeah. No, but like, it's but if not people like were they at would my call house you. Playing games for 10 hours and I couldn't play and I could just hear them down there playing it. I would get the fuck out of the house because I would be so yeah. annoyed yeah. all day if I couldn't Could you imagine if Ryan was like, hey, we're playing guitar downstairs. Come sit next to us all day. <laughs> yeah. Right. Right. You have to. I and want you to watch. Also, and like board gaming like you're is being rude your if you don't come also. hang out with us down here and sit there and do nothing. When or if in. I was like, <laughs> Natalie, come play guitar with us. And then the next time I was like, I don't want you to play guitar with us anymore. Right. But will you, bring us, will, will you bring us yeah. pop and cookies? Yeah. And if you like watch. guitar, it changes things, right? Like board yeah. gaming is your hobby. Right. If you didn't care too much about board gaming, none of this would like, it would be weird that he told you to do something and you're like, no, I'm don't right. do that. And that's <laughs> yeah. like. When I host games, Devin comes down and says hi. She's like, hey, everybody. And then then she likes her time up like by herself. She watches yeah. some stuff. And I always say, like, Devin, you want to you wanna play this? And she's like, nope. Sure and she goes yeah. sure does, right? she knows what And she the wants. same thing with longer, longer days, like when we went to Dave's. I went over a little earlier. Devin went over a little later, played a few games. And then, like, could, yeah, because board gaming is, be is one of her hobbies now. Yep. But it's not like her main love. Right. right. But yeah. she's happy to, it's to fun. play and participate. It's still of fun. And she gets um, to see people she likes. Versus right. like someone in our game group like Christy. Like when we're over at Bill and Christy's house, Christy will play. Usually yeah. the same. Right. Yeah, she's, she's a gamer. A game. Game. She's, she's a gamer. gamer. Um, so I'm curious of her love of game also. That would be a question. Right. I would, and I like, also do, wonder if she plays games, games with her husband, just the two of them. Too. Yeah, she I, didn't I'd really be curious of that. that to be I can see this, that I can see this ruining games for her altogether, honestly. Yeah, like, like it's almost like the way that this is being handled. Now, and like, <clears throat> if I was her, I'd be like, you've ruined games yeah. for me. I'm kind of pissed about it now. And every time I think of games, I think of this bad feeling and I associate it with that. Mm-hmm. So I don't think she's the asshole for that. I do kind of I do kind of question like, how would I feel, I wonder, even if I was a little bit the asshole, if you just took to Reddit and just wrote this whole fucking thing oh, yeah. about our relationship and That's, if you're the asshole or yeah. not. Like, oh, that would that would not. I wouldn't like that. Some I've, people are just like social. Like, they don't right. talk Especially to people. Especially against so just, your husband. Oh. That's what I mean. Or she's, yeah. she's We're married for, and I go to Reddit yeah. and I'm like, it depends Natalie on if just she's using this as a weapon. She's fucking thing. pissed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is she using it as a weapon and going, I went online and looked at all these people? Right. Because they they might have think a terrible that you're the asshole. <laughs> you know yeah, their yeah, relationship might her suck. Friend, his friends might come over and she might be an asshole. <laughs> yeah, right. We don't know anything what about What are you this playing? Person. That game's fucking stupid. Or she's really loud in the other room. Like, she might be terrible. We have no it's idea. It's just like, but. I feel like the way she wrote that, she seems like I can clearly identify with her. What I can't yeah. identify with is taking to the internet yeah. to say something about your spouse. Yeah. <laughs> in right. that context. That's pretty you know? bad. You're Unless right. If maybe you did that maybe to me, yeah, and I didn't know. If we I'd just had like, a little argument fuck? about this, and I was like, "Is your problem?" Yeah, I'm just like, "I'm gonna here look. Every look what everyone says. They all agree with me. Ha ha ha. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, like, like whoa. Or I didn't tell you, and then you just came across I'm it and found it. Now. Yeah, yeah, that would be. Oh my god, that would be absolutely insane. Ugh, yeah, but yeah, that's. I was just curious. Well, I think. Yeah, on I that. think she's not the asshole. That's what yeah, I'm gonna go with. Not the asshole. Agreed. All right, guys, you ready for this? Oh for today's Choo-choo. game oh. of the episode. No, no, this is new. Oh. Well, we might need dingers. 
You no, might or no. we need them. Get them. Get them. We need the dingers. <laughs> Ding. I went to chat GPT. Oh, boy. <laughs> and I demanded from it yep. the following. Okay. Can you please make a game? So I guess I didn't demand. Yeah. I asked very nicely. Kind. Can you please make a game for two players with 15 questions where the answer is either fart, <laughs> poop, or board game? Oh, my God. Okay. I copy and pasted the results and didn't look at it. Ryan. Okay. You don't have to make games anymore. You could just Chat have GPT do, do it. This now could we, be fucking horrible. I have not. You want to switch? I have not well, seen grandma, these. We're going to be doing this together. I think this is grandma. You can check. Ding it. Check. Oh, ne- Jeff has grandma's bell. Yeah, let's change. How do you even know? Well, that was a little looser. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so here we go, guys. <laughs> the answer show. to all these questions. I did 15 because it should be. They, they will probably be pretty simple. But the answer is either going to be fart, poop, or a board game. Okay. 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 Fart, poop, board and game. I have not, <laughs> have not seen these. Well, I, okay. I, I mean, I saw like question, answer, but here we go. Okay. Fart, <laughs> fart poop, or board game. Question. Which one? <laughs> you said you haven't read the question. I have not read these. No. <laughs> okay. Which one is a bodily waste product that is t- Natalie? Poop. <laughs> You want me to read the rest? Yeah. Of the, let me yeah. read the rest of the questions. Is this the game? Are, the game, is the, are we just going to ding in and try to? Yeah. Fart and see poop? Poop. Okay. Yeah. Right. okay. In the future, let me I finish didn't know the how question. We were going to win. Oh. Let me finish the question. Okay. Because this is really. Which one is a bodily waste product that is typically expelled from the anus? <laughs> typically, <laughs> typically expelled. Most so of it, sometimes, sometimes it comes out. Some other you eat the turkey through yeah. your butt, then it typically, comes yeah. out through your mouth. Blech. Oh man! All right, here we go. Question two. Okay. Which one? is often associated with the release of gas from the rectum. <laughs> Fart. Oh, of course, Natalie knows that. <laughs> you didn't even try. I know, because I knew it was fart, and I wanted to make a joke about it. Oh, the first anus and rectum in the first two. I'm going to kill this game. How is there 13 more? Often, uh, I, there's 13 more. Here we go. Give me my two points. Yeah, I, I hope they're not all just... Ooh, I guess we're I'm keeping Give me my two points. <laughs> we are they're all just like a straight-up sound issue. Jeff... D- dinged in when got these. So you think Natalie's like, like we're not a, keeping score this time? We're not keeping one. score. Oh, we're not keeping score. <laughs> we're not. No, that's what no, you would we're say. Score. And Jeff got those first two. <laughs> Let me grind uh, my bell up now. Grind your bell. You got right. grandma's. Oh my bell. god! I hope these aren't all just the like same the straight thing. Up just the definition of it. Here you go. Number three. Uh, which one involves following rules and competing <laughs> against other players? <laughs> Pooping. Is it pooping? Pooping back and forth forever. I'm not even gonna dig in. He's like, no way. (laughs) Question four. Which one can be (laughs) What? Which one can be used as a defense mechanism in certain animal species? Farting! (laughs) Pooping! (laughs) Uh, what you said poop? Yeah. No. What? Farting. Ding. I said farting. Fart, yes, Jeff gets it. Farting. No, you the monkeys throw poop. That's true. This oh. one says... which gotcha. Chad GPT farted it up. Damn, I got one wrong. That's embarrassing. Number five. Fart poop. Which one can vary in color, <laughs> consistency, <laughs> and shape, depending on factors like diet and health? Uh, oh, <laughs> those factors. Well, then it's obviously poop. Uh, it's obviously board uh, games. Well, it could have been board games until you said diet and health. <laughs> I'm not keeping score. <laughs> this is absurd. Uh, <laughs> this is so much better than I thought it was going to be. These are so stupid. All right, here we go. This one's going to be tough. Which one is primarily composed of water, bacteria, undigested food, and waste material? <laughs> Natalie. Poop. Natalie, you are nailing this game. <laughs> How do you know this? Oh, my God. All right, here we go. Question two. Which one can involve rolling dice and strategic <laughs> Is it board games? It's board games. It's board games. Correct. You should have done poop. Fart or a puke or something. Which one is the result of the relaxation of the anal sphincter muscle? <laughs> board games. I'm so relaxed when I play board games. Uh, fart? <sighs> yeah, it's fart. Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> Which one can create embarrassing moments during important meetings? Board games. <laughs> All of the above. <laughs> All of the above. No, no, it's it's fart. Fart. It says fart. Oh god. Embarrassing moments during important. That's what you well, I'm, at, I'm at an important meeting. I just. Uh, oh, I pooped well, my pants. I guess Chad GPT was like, How many more times can I give you a yeah, clue for I, fart and poop? Yeah. <laughs> There's more. Right. Which one. Um, <laughs> which one can be played with friends or family for entertainment? <laughs> farting. Farting. <laughs> the fart game. Well, I say poop. <laughs> you pay poop. Yeah. Which one can cause laughter or embarrassment in social situations? All the above. <laughs> farting. 
Which one is bodily waste product and can come in different shapes and sizes? We had that one already. Pooping. Munchkin. Which one is a popular form of entertainment that involves strategy and confidence? It's the same Farting. question. Is this the same I thing know, dude, well, 15. What can you do? All right, I won't, I won't read anymore. Okay, yeah, you thought they'd get was, more creative, though. That was so fucking funny. <laughs> Oh, my God. All right. For today's top five of the episode, (laughs) we are going to end the show with the top five reasons board games are better than sex. (laughs) There's only five reasons, you guys. No, there's only a million reasons. With number one being the top five. With number one being it's not. not. (laughs) Spoiler alert. Number five for me is is they're not. Yeah. Yeah. That's my number one. Board games aren't better than sex. (laughs) They're not. So so I guess we're going me, Natalie, one with Jeff. So uh, Natalie, what's your number five? Mine was they're not. Um, my number five is the fun typically lasts for hours. <laughs> oh, wait a minute! You're, oh, hey. you're shooting some shots at me. Uh, no, I'm not. Most people don't yeah, have but sex for hours. You, you, you know, know like, what? Challenge accepted. One. We're gonna go for and if hours. It is hours. It's probably not that fun. It, it, it probably hurts after a while. <laughs> yeah, it <laughs> probably hurts after a while. Jeff, what's your number five? My number five is board games don't lead to babies. <laughs> Just expansions. That's a good one. You know? Just expansions. That's awesome. All right, number four. For me, I don't feel like I have to send games a thank you note after I play them. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for having sex with me. You're going to receive a note those, in the mail. Is that all those letters? That's I what those letters I, are. Yeah, we, okay. we, we stick them on the door. Natalie, what's number four? Uh, you can play them while the kids are awake and even in the same room. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Well, usually you have to wait till they go to bed. <laughs> usually. Jeff, what's your number four? <laughs> My number four door. is when I play board games, no one judges me. <laughs> <laughs> no one's judging for your body. Questionable That's what you think. Yeah, yeah. what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Number three for me is Natalie's number five. Games last much longer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Natalie, what's your number three? Um it's socially acceptable to play them with many different people, often at the same time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're right. It's not. Unfortunately, it's not yet socially acceptable to have sex with multiple people at the same time. Unfortunately, it's it sounds awesome to me, but it's not yet socially acceptable. Jeff, what's your number three? My number three is cleanup is not as sticky. Not oh my god, not as sticky. It's not still as somewhat sticky. It sticky. Might be. It depends on the game. Yeah. It, it depends on the game and where you play. Cleanup is not as sticky. For number sure. three, why board games true. are better. That's very perfect. True. Uh, number two. For me, is uh, when a game is dry, you don't feel like you did something wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! <laughs> Why is it so Imagine dry? Imagine that for a couple hours. <laughs> <laughs> now, there's number two. Um, they don't exert you physically. <laughs> <laughs> no physical exertion. Only, oh, only mental exertion with board games. Only physical. Board games could, or sex could mentally exert you too. Yeah. I suppose. Yeah, that's, that's Jeff, so. what's your number two? My number two is no need for foreplay. <laughs> <laughs> you can just jump no right need in. Yep. You can just jump right in. Yeah, you ever consider play. adoption? It's a great way yeah. to have kids without <laughs> having <laughs> sex. Having sex. Mm. Okay, okay. And that brings us to number one. Number one for me. Paying for board games has never landed me in jail. <laughs> <laughs> My number one's you can play them in public places. <laughs> <laughs> you can you can you have can. sex, but I think it's we go illegal. along with the social yeah. acceptable yeah. stuff. Yeah. My number one was just it's not. And I don't yeah, know it's not. Yeah, it's my yeah. number five. Uh, yeah. yeah, I would have put that What the too, fuck are you talking about? I knew he would. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny. <laughs> So that's going to do it for us tonight, everybody. If you'd like to get a hold of us, you can find us on Instagram at GameCasters or at MadBoardGamer. Both of those accounts service the podcast. We also have a Facebook group. Just search GameCasters and you'll find us there. You can also email us at the GameCasters podcast at gmail.com. If you like the show, we'd love it if you consider giving us a rating on Apple Podcasts or anywhere else you listen that allows you to rate us. We've also got a Patreon. If you want to support the show, feel free to head on over to patreon.com forward slash the GameCasters. There's also a merch store where you can find all sorts of different game casters mad board gamer gateway gear so head on over to the gatewaynetwork.com forward slash store please follow me and consider subscribing on twitch at twitch.tv forward slash game casters so for natalie and jeff the mad board gamer i'm ryan and you have been listening to the game casters good night everybody Something, 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 put it in my pocket, save it for a rainy day.